Okay, folks, good morning. Happy 4th of July. We're in the middle of a rainstorm here. So if you hear thunder in the background, that's because there's a rainstorm going on. It's unusual to have it roll in during this time. But since it's been rolling in during all times, uh, you know, invariably, you would get some now. Okay, let's, uh, let's get plugged in here, and hopefully we don't have to disconnect due to bad weather. Let's flip this around. Okay, using the nights we completed yesterday. I attempted to take a picture of them this morning. And, well, it's not like I woke up. I woke up at my normal time. I've just been busy doing other things. Um, I want to say prepping for this, but that would be inaccurate. But I did take pictures of these folks and um, these figures. And I just, I'm just going to give up. I'm trying to take pictures. I don't, I don't care what you do. Um, my phone must suck at taking pictures of small things. I've messed with the settings sometimes. And, you know, I'm not going to spend three hours trying to figure out how to take a picture. I'm going to take about a dozen and post the best one of the dozen. And if I can't get it right in a dozen, well, then I probably don't need to be taking pictures of my figures. Because, I don't know, this, I have, I've had not had this much dissatisfaction ever. It's with blurriness. I mean, you take a picture of this guy and he's in focus and then this guy's not. I'm like, he's freaking an inch and a half away from him. I don't know, I give up. So I'm a painter, not a photographer. If you want to see better pictures of my figures, you just have to come see them in person and play with me. I don't bite. Not yet. <laughs> All right. So we got Papal Knights done. Bam. All right. We're working on our first Spearman. And I almost got him done last night, but... He's nearly done. We got, like, shoes and the back of the shield and stuff to do on him. So... Go ahead and do that. Yep. Rumble, rumble. I wonder if I do this. Set up. All right. So this is where we left off, and yeah, I'm just I'm just going to accept the fact that I take bad photos. Hey, I can't be good at everything. That's going to be my cop out. Mess with a manual focus. I've messed with everything. I think I just, I may just need a regular big camera. We have one. But it is so much easier to take things right from your phone. So it is Independence Day, but the girls come back today, so my independence is gone. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm glad they're coming back. I, I had too much freedom. They don't keep me from doing anything I want to do, really, so we might as well be here. Uh, okay, so we need to finish this guy up. Right. We have some chus to put on him and uh, the back of the shield. All right. Since we don't have 
many people on. I'm going to take a break and get some coffee going. Because I failed to do that. Good morning, Harvey. Happy Independence Day, yeah. Got no specific in July 4th plans. Not gonna be shooting off any fireworks. I bought some fireworks a couple years ago, which I've never really done. And I was, really surprised how expensive they were considering where they all come from you'd think they'd be like dirt cheap right no they're really expensive like i'm not gonna blow that kind of money that's like binge drinking with no uh with no buzz good morning dirk so i figured it out i had a uh, epiphany while i was out uh doing the first stage of the coffee. I'm boiling the water now, so I'll have to be excused for a little while. But I was starting to feel the, you haven't had any caffeine in the morning uh, tinge in my temples. And I'm like, ah, uh, no, we don't want to have that. I was thinking, you know how lots of you people have problems spraying and getting that misty and cloudiness and all that crap that I've never experienced in my life. That's your hell. My hell is I can't take a picture now that's not damn blurry. I just have to call the wife in and take pictures. I just can't do it. Light box, no light box, uh, adjusting the settings on the camera. Maybe my camera sucks for taking pictures that, you know, I can't do it. I'm just going to give up. I'll let my wife take pictures now. Maybe my phone's not good for that. I don't know. I, I, phone certainly is expensive enough for that. So, uh, you know, you'd think it would take good pictures, but uh, maybe it's just too close for it. I've messed with the settings. So that's my hell. My hell is not being able to take uh, pictures that are in focus. And, uh, you know, but my figures don't come out. That's what it is. My pictures come out cloudy, but my figures don't. <laughs> well, if you want to get a good look at my figures, you just have to come visit me and we'll throw some games down. I'll be happy to have you. Unless, uh, unless you're a, a poor sport. I don't know. Is there that many people that are poor sports? Maybe. Maybe. I live in a town that is has a lot of college sports. A lot. That's a huge thing here. Not for me, but it's a huge thing here. And 
Growing up with it my entire life, I can't stand sports fans because they're such whiners. And they're not even playing the game. You know, and it's like, you know, when your team does something that's questionable, ah, no problem. But then, you know, it's just like, pol it's exactly like politics. People just aren't honest that, you know, you know, both guys are lying to you. Both sides are lying to you. No, my guy makes no errors. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't like bad sports fans. People would scream at the television. Dude, you're not even playing. You don't even know any of these people. Wouldn't want to play with gamers like that. We'll give it another two minutes, then we'll check and see if it's boiled. My wife did get me a couple of years ago and an, a cold coffee thing, but it just too it's just too complicated. Because all I do is boil this thing and then throw ice in it because I'm not drinking anything warm. So I'm plenty warmed up. I never drink anything warm other than a soup. That's it. I mean, right now, I think it's 78 degrees outside and it's, the sun's not even up. Why the hell would I want to drink something warm? Cold coffee. Does anybody bring, drink English tea cold? I like that. I like that English tea stuff. English tea stuff. Yeah, that English tea stuff. It's called English tea. Um, I like that. The problem is, is it just doesn't have the, the caffeine value. I like it better than coffee. Honestly, I, I'm starting to not like coffee very much, taste wise. I just drink it because it's you know for its medicinal value, <laughs> for its ass kicking potential. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Hold on, let me have a cup of coffee. Is that all you've got? Give me more. <laughs> you know, you can't get something done, have a couple of coffees and it all becomes possible. <laughs> it is. It is. It's happened to me at work. I will I won't go into work without coffee. Oh. up man this white dies fast I just don't want to drink warm stuff. It's going to warm me up too much. So I'm not very sympathetic to people that say, I don't like working in my office. It's really cold. Weenie. Put on some more clothes. Wear long sleeves. I love wearing long sleeves. I live in a place where you just can't wear them. Except like two times a year. I love wearing long sleeves. You drink tea in the afternoon, but it does lose its appeal if you've added milk and let it go cold. Black tea cold works for me. I'm going to have to try that. I love black tea. I mean, taste-wise, black tea's awesome. You know? I just, you know, just one of those things. I have to do a, how much caffeine does this have in it? It's got to have more than a soda, I would think. Maybe not a lot more. All right, let's check on the water boiling, and then we'll, um, and then we'll be right back, because that's just to pour it and come back.
All right, now we got five or six minutes or so. Okay. Should have done that first, but the storm distracted me. I wake up to start rolling in about five o'clock in the morning, which is extremely unusual. I mean, we get a lot of thunderstorms, but they're almost always in the afternoon, never, almost never in the morning. Iced tea drinks are getting popular here in the shops. I don't order iced tea because, well, you know, it's too easy to drink. So I guess that's the thing about coffee is I don't enjoy the taste as much, which means it takes me longer to drink it, it lasts longer. <laughs> There's a catch-22 to everything, isn't there? Oh, well. I'm just thinking out loud. Just thinking out loud. All right, we're going to... Just do the edge here. Oh, it needs to, needs to run a little smoother than that. This is a, not an ideal brush, but I'm just doing this edge. I don't want to use my best brushes for everything because then they won't be in good enough shape when we need them to do what we need them to do. I mean, I could paint everything with the brush I use for the faces. By the time I get to the face, though, it's all out of shape. So I try to only use it for that. It eventually will be not very good for faces. In which case it'll just get relegated to other duties. I don't know, at the rate I'm not going through brushes, it's gonna be a long while before I order those German ones. I had overbought just before um, all this hit. Okay. Oh, we never highlighted the, the his brown shoes. His choose. His choose. It's funny how people all over the world seem to know when Independence Day is here in the United States, but we don't have a clue what your Independence Day is in your places. Ah, <laughs> uh, it must be really annoying to live in another country and you've got this United States that won't shut up about everything. I'm going to call this guy done for now. All right. Let's do another one. All right. We did an off-white thing for, for his shirt. And I used... It's probably not here anymore. We'll use a different one. We'll use a different off-white for his... Uh, I'm going to use this one. You guys, when you're watching my feed, do you get the picture that gets pixelated? I'm I've got it on my computer here to the right to the right of me, but the computer is tied in through our horrible internet, and um, and it gets pixelated from time to time. But that would just be um, 
that might just be the feed because it's being spit out on on my cell phone feed which is superb so um not pixelated no. to retort with a classic english expression you may very well think that but i couldn't possibly comment a classic english expression i don't think i've ever heard it but you may very you may very well think that but i couldn't possibly comment yeah I just want to, can we go back to the taxes that we had in 1776 with the British? <laughs> 1775. Can we go back to the taxes in 1774? <laughs> Nobody has those anymore. Has it been five minutes yet? Yeah. yeah. We got a little bit more left in us. All right. Um, I did do a similar color, but I'm not going to mix black in. We're going to use brown as the as the darkener in this one. I don't know. I don't want to live in a land with no air, in a time with no air conditioning. I don't mind being sweaty, but I need to be doing something. Just sitting around and sweating is no. Um, I'm gonna be half naked on a beach then, and no ice and drinks. I'm out. That's probably my most Americanist, Americanish <laughs> thing is ice. I am, I am just, I am not giving that up. I'd drive on the other side of the street before I'd give up ice. I love ice. I'm hot all the time. Speaking of hot all the time, let's go get some iced coffee, which will be lukewarmish, unfortunately, but. It is what it is. Stop grumbling. Oh yeah, make me. <laughs> Prime Minister Addington introduced income tax to fund the forthcoming war against Napoleon and we still pay it. Well, why'd you vote for him? <laughs> you should have income tax or sales tax, but not both. Pick one. I don't care which one it is. Honestly, sales tax is probably more, more fair. I'm not opposed to paying taxes. It's just, you know, it doesn't matter how many taxes they take. They're, they're never, they always run out of money. So why give them a dime? You know, they don't know how to balance a checkbook and they want more money. Well, show me you can balance a checkbook. Somebody told me one time a while ago, and I forget what it is. 
but it was some entity that might have been schools or something. They had some budget and they had to use the whole budget because if they if they saved any money, then next year their budget would be smaller. And like, okay, well that doesn't that doesn't make any sense cuz you know, sometimes you have to pay things for years where you don't have to pay it for others. So Yeah, I couldn't work for government. I I I don't know I could, I, I wouldn't be able to stand it. There's enough people we don't get at my workplace. There's enough people we, we don't get rid of when they don't perform. It'd be even worse in the government. As a former accountant to the unfair, oh, to the, as a former accountant, the unfair factor is how all taxes hit the middle income sector hardest. There are always loopholes for the very wealthy. You see, and that's the problem. That's the problem. Okay, like, okay, well, the wealthier are being taxed too much without loopholes. Well, then get rid of the loopholes. It should be easy to do your... There shouldn't be any loopholes. It's not that I want, I don't want that the, the rich people to not pay, you know, but you know, if, if you, if there's loopholes, then yeah, I know looking for loopholes makes account keeps accountants in business. Well, maybe you just get rid of the loopholes and accountants do something more productive. Like, uh, I don't know, fix our roads. <laughs> I know. I just work in an industry where we have plenty to do and we just need, and you know, and it's just making more stuff and it's not like, don't throw up uh, stumbling blocks. Don't throw up more laws. You know, it's like, well, we have too many lawyers. What do we do? I don't know. Create a bunch of laws so we have to hire more lawyers so they can understand what the laws mean. Stop. Like, do something productive. Like, you know, make all that stuff that you that we're buying from, you know, places we don't need to be buying stuff from. you'll here there's a bunch of ads medicines they don't even tell you what they cure they tell you the name of the medicine which of course is some made-up name with a ton of consonants that you can't even pronounce um and then they give you the latin name behind it in parentheses like that's going to help and um at the bot you know it tells you know may cause uh stomach cramps shitting your pants uh erectile dysfunction you know all the you know it's like but ask your doctor about this. So what, what do people do? And they go in there and ask about it. It's like, no, that's for, um, that's for controlling your menstrual cycle. You don't need that. Why would you ask me about that? Because they don't even tell you what it's for on the, on the television. You know, all they're doing is uh, advertising for this thing that they want people to put people on drugs. And then how do they pay for the advertising? They got to jack the price of the drugs up. But they have the disclaimer at the end where they, you know, so, if, you know, to avoid lawsuits because they say, oh, no, no, we told you in the, we told you in the commercial that it could have caused uh, you to have a, 
a baby out of your backside. No, no, I didn't hear that. Oh, it was just back there at the bottom. It was just in the mumble. It was in the the, uh, the 1,000 miles an hour mumble section at the end. I'm like, why is that even being advertised? <laughs> Another reason not to watch television. Only time we ever watch television is by one of the subscription services that have a lot less commercials. You can pay for them to not have any commercials, but then it becomes even more expensive. But we don't have cable or anything like that or standard TV. We don't watch that stuff. Okay. I don't care for problems that can never be solved. I'd rather like, I'm not going to fight that war. That's why like this whole taking photos, things that are blurry. I'm like, how many photos have I taken? And how many of them are blurry? I'm like, I'm just going to give up and not take photos of my stuff. It's just really frustrating. That's wasted time. We'll call in the wife. She can take pictures. Maybe it's my phone. I don't know. I've tinkered with settings. I spoke to a photographer. You need to, oh, you need to change the setting of this on your phone. My phone doesn't have that. Okay, I can't change the, I forget what the heck it was. Um, oh, well. So last 4th of July, we, for the last four or five years, I don't know whether it's four or five, we've been going to the same place down on the beach. This year, we decided not to do it because we we're going to do a lot of traveling. Before, that's what, before I found out that the daughter had to travel for the, uh, for her, uh, her event. And uh, we would have just had to, tra had we done that this, this year, uh, had we planned on doing that, we would have had to cancel it because, well, they wouldn't have been around. But um, last year, when we went, the town shoots off a bunch of fireworks, which you could see from the hotel on the beach. But people sometimes bring their own fireworks onto the beach. And these people brought a lot and they were extremely irresponsible about lighting them off. They had this like mortar tube looking thing. And at one point it like fell sideways. And uh, you know, that thing's like a shotgun going off. Um, for those of you that are not in the United States, a shotgun is a firearm that uh, has these cartridges that <laughs> it's very loud. Well, it, fit, it fell sideways you know, because it's sitting on the sand, it fell sideways and then it went off. And I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm like, I'm I'm not going to get burned by these idiots that are because you can have fun, but you need to be respectful of things. You know, you can't just do whatever the hell you want. You know, so. You know, you can have fun. You just don't need to be, you know, respectful. Go watch the videos on YouTube. You know what I'm talking about. You can have fun shooting firearms, but you need to respect them and be safe and be responsible while you do it. Not just like watch this, you know. Um, you can have fun with a fast car and not drive like an idiot. Well, many people can't, but 
Um, you know, you have the video games to do that, you know? You can uh, you, pull, you can play on the Xbox and, and do crazy stuff there. You don't have to do it in real life. Mr. Theo, hello. You're currently looking for minifigures on eBay. You know, if you do a search for minifigures, I think that the little Lego things come up as well. I think they call, what do they call them? Oh, it's when I do a search for minifigs. I got to put minifigs miniatures because if I just put minifigs, the whole Lego thing comes in there and people make custom Lego this and custom Lego that. That's cool, but that's not what I'm looking for. Um, any of you guys car enthusiasts? I recently got a, a vehicle that's the fastest vehicle I've ever gotten, which isn't saying a whole lot, but I'm having fun with it. But it's, it's really cool. This is just me being childish. But it's really neat to have a vehicle that's actually in a driving game, and I can drive it in the game too. That's kind of fun. But um, I forget which game it was that I was playing. But one of the things is this thing called drifting. If you're dri now, maybe I'm just old school or whatever. Um, but if you're drifting, you do you're going too fast. I just don't see what the point is in that. Uh, even in a freaking video game, it's annoying. It's uh, it's an out of it's a controlled spin. Uh, you know, it's who's buying your tires? You know, are you is your last name Goodyear? <laughs> And way too much from Games Workshop. There's a lot of stuff on there, huh? Do you guys still have a 55 mile per hour speed limit? No. Well, it depends where. Our interstate also varies by state. The interstate speed here in Florida is 70. That's the standard one. Um, generally, in a neighborhood, it's about 25. On most roads, it's 45 within the city most roads um every road i don't think there's any road inside the city that is higher than 45. um and then the interstate is 70. that's pretty much the standard speeds you know you get the 55s if you're going through a small t a really small town um and stuff like that you know on the way between here and jacksonville there's the um, there's the divided highway, which is not the interstate. The divided highway gets up to 65 miles an hour at one point, but there's 55 mile an hour zones, um, and you know, depending. But uh, no, the 55 thing was from the. It, that's that's been long gone. But it's not how fast you're going. It's that, you know, our interstate that you know that runs by here for the longest time was two lanes. So you got two lanes in one direction, and you've got some kind of a median that you cannot cross except at an interchange, so every 10 miles or so, or so. It's less than that through, through a city. And then two lanes in the opposite direction. When they increased it and added the third lane, the traffic got worse. It's almost like people want to like get in a different lane and go, I wonder what it feels like to be over here. Ah, that feels good. Let me go to the middle lane and go over here. Just freaking pick a lane and stay there. Put your cruise control on. You know, I use cruise control on all the time on the way to work. It keeps you from getting an, a, a speeding ticket without wanting to get a speeding ticket. I've gotten speeding tickets on my life. Has it been a lot? No. It's less than five for sure. It's three or four. I don't know. And I've never gotten one in a hurry. Never. It's never like, man, I got to get there fast. It's always you're driving with a flow, you know, and uh, the cop ate his last donut and he's got nothing to do. So he pulls you over instead of someone else. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to drive with a flow every day. I'm going to uh, put the cruise control on, and then I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to have to give him a $200 donation to uh, the donut fund. Similar to the UK, then. Yeah, except your gas is six times more expensive. And that's stupid because you guys pump your gas right out of the North Sea that's right there. I'm sorry, petrol. Um, I actually kind of like it being called petrol. Um, that's where it freaking comes from. 
Um, you may have already asked, but do you like minis from Crocodile Games? They're 28 millimeter in fantasies. Two strikes against me having painted them. No, I don't know anything about them. They are fantasy, aren't they? Um, it's a cool name, Crocodile Games. These figures are a croc. Maybe not a good... <laughs> Maybe not a good tagline for them. Uh, no, I don't... Uh... I don't own any. I, I don't. I've painted one. I've painted twenty-eight millimeters figures in the past, but it was all in the nineteen nineties, and it wasn't more than a dozen of them. It take too long. I'd have to play some kind of ultra skirmish type thing. Ultra ultra skirmish. Yeah, gas is too expensive everywhere other than here. I guess there's I guess there's places where the gas is less expensive than here, but I think it's the Middle East and uh no. We we don't want to live over there. This vehicle I got now, actually both the vehicles that we got now both take premium unleaded. So our gas went up to, it's hovering about $3 a gallon right now, a little under. Um, I think it over this holiday weekend, it just went over $3 a gallon, but I'm paying like an extra 75 cents a gallon for the premium. Yes, I can put the other stuff in it, but I'm not going to, because I'm not supposed to. You know, I've rented a car, I, one, and one of the times when I fuel, fuel a car, I'll open a little hub, a little, the, the gas cap and say, see what kind of fuel it takes. Because if it says this needs to take premium, you put premium in there. So you don't have, it's just the way I was raised, man. You take care of things, even though they're not your things, you know, just because, oh, it's not my car. I'll just park it in a hole. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> But yeah, premium unleaded. So, but we knew that going in. It wasn't like it was a surprise. So, so these next three years, I'm definitely the gas is going to be more expensive than it's been in the past because car is more inefficient. It's hovering about 24 miles at the gallon average, as opposed to almost 30, and premium gas as opposed to the cheapest gas. But it's a hell of a lot more fun to drive. So. It's good when fuel is expensive, good for the environment. It doesn't make a difference. I don't think it makes a difference at all. They can make fuel $12 a gallon. People still be out there driving. It's like cigarettes. You can make cigarettes $100 a pack. People are still going to buy cigarettes. You know, Some things are expensive, and it doesn't keep people from using them. For instance, how many people do you know? Well, I don't know any, thankfully, that are homeless or out of work or whatever, and they'll always find money for booze, Tobacco, tattoos, and illegal drugs. And all those things are expensive. You know? Well, alcohol is not that expensive at the rates I consume it. But, you know. So, people will always find a way. So, um, I smoked for many years. Of course, that was a long time ago. That was almost like a different person. Um, March 28th, 1998 was my quit date. And I smoked for eight years. And I don't know that I say that I feel any better. I could say this. If I still smoke now, I'd feel horrible. Um, you know, but um, they were like $2 a pack when I quit. And who knows? I don't know what they are now. Eight? Six? I don't know. It doesn't matter how much you make them. People still going to buy them, you know? I mean, drugs aren't cheap and people do them. I mean, I don't. I've never done them, but... You know, 
Um, You know, and you're just assuming that, you know, you know what's good for the environment? I'll tell you what's good for the environment. Uh, COVID. I don't mean people dying. I just mean a lot of people working from home. We're burning stupid. I mean, I have to go to work. My job, unfortunate, unfortunately, means I have to be at work. So I'm not, you know, for those of you that are like whining, I'm going to work from home. I can't go in the office. This I can't wear shorts and a t-shirt and, and you know and, and sit in whatever temperature I want my house to be at and work. You know, I gotta wear uncomfortable clothes and drive to work every day. But not everyone has to do that. And hopefully one thing that comes from this is that a lot of people aren't necessary in the workplace. You know, the company doesn't have to cover overhead. You don't have to have, you know. The list goes on of, of how I listed. I listed one thing, and I say the list goes on. You know what I'm talking about. Or people are, are commuting stupid amounts of distance, burning fuel for dumbass reasons. I mean, it's different. It's like we're going to go on a road trip to, to Mount Rushmore. Okay, well, you're going in a car. It's a long ways away from here, and you're going to burn fuel, but you're going to see things along the way. Okay but not just to and from work that you could do from home. So that's stupid. How much packaging do you have for things? You know, how much stupid packaging there is? You know, there's like something that's in a plastic bag that's in another plastic bag that, you know, you end up having to throw things away. We have recycle dumpsters here and we have, you know, the, when they pick up the trash and a regular trash dumpster. The regular trash dumpster is rarely more than half full. And the recycle things are to the brim, you know, so you, they're just dumb packaging, you know, um, that's just wasteful. Um, um, and I'm not a save the earth kind of person because the earth is going to recover. We're not going to kill the earth. Now it may change what things are in it, but you know, I, I think things are of a certain things. Ha some things are more a priority than others. Okay. For instance, this still happens today in this country, which used to be a first world country. <laughs> you go to the beach and you see trash. Why is there trash at the beach? Why? You brought the item. You drank it so it weighs less. You can crush it, make it smaller, take it with you. Like, you should beat people. Like, what are they, where is it? In Singapore where they beat people with a cane? You know, forget about saving the earth. You know, you're killing my turtles. Man, don't mess with my turtles, man. And it's just ugly to look at, you know. And, and that's, why can't you just, I, I, I'll i never understand it. Cigarette butts out on the beach. I mean, it, and, I, and I, I say it not because our beaches look like some of these rivers in Southeast Asia that look horrendous. I'm just saying that, it's trash. You should know better, I mean, to do that. Just take your trash with you. Start there, okay? We haven't mastered that, you know. Um. <laughs> oh, man. Um. If, your high has, if your car has a high compression engine, you need the higher octane fuel. Yes, and it has a turbo also. Totally agree. COVID is great for the environment. I think so too, but we're only able to reduce the CO2 level by 4%. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that greenhouse gas thing. I don't know enough. But I'll tell you one thing. If we follow all the rules, but... Several of the countries don't, and they're big producers. What difference will it make? Or, you know, if you pay all those taxes and then the taxes get misused for something else, which every government does, what good does it do? Or if you have people, and this goes for everybody, they say you need to live your life a certain way. But then, when they're not, when you're not looking, they're living your life exact. They're living their life exactly the way they they don't say you should. 
Ah, we only got a little, we only got a few more years on this planet, and then I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but start with not making the world ugly. Who, who wants to see trash, man? That's just stupid. What else is wasteful? Traffic lights, okay? Traffic lights are necessary. Why can't they be coordinated? Why can't they be that, you know, it, it's going to take 7 or 12 seconds to get from one light to the other, so let's make sure that when one turn, one turns, the other one turns the same distance so people aren't wasting time getting frustrated, burning fuel, just sitting in a car, you know. But I tell you what, I can't stand those cars that have the automatic shut off. Thank God mine doesn't have it. I cannot stand that. The first time that happened, I'm like, oh my God, the car broke. It was almost like, you know what? We're not selling enough starters. So we'll come up with this thing in a car where it'll shut off and you'll have to restart the car again. And that way we'll use starters more and, uh, you know, and we'll sell more. <laughs> I can't stand those automatic starters. Um, vehicle, making vehicles more fuel efficient. I'm all for that. That makes total sense. Why can't... Uh, let me give you an example. Also another thing to break down. Yeah. No, but make it more efficient. I'm going to use an example, okay? There's a vehicle that I absolutely love. And it's probably available around the world. So those of you people that drive on the wrong side of the road and, and live in the other parts of the world, you know, the, you guys have cool vehicles. Okay, like there's, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I like Japanese vehicles. And there's cars in Japan that don't make it here. And they're freaking badass, okay? They're, I mean, they just don't make, they don't make it here, you know, for whatever reason. I mean, they don't, well, I, I like a manual transmission. And I'm like the only person in this huge country that wants a manual transmission, but... There's lots of vehicles that they'll make, but they don't make the manual transmission version here. So I'm kind of limited by what we have, what they bring here. But anyways, I digress. Toyota 4Runner, okay? It's a beautiful looking vehicle, okay? I don't need it for any of the off-road capabilities. I do like being able to keep an eye on the person that's in front of the person I'm in front of. So in other words, you don't have to rely on faith that the person that's in front of you is going to not hit the brakes at the last minute and you freaking eat them, right? So you can kind of plan a little bit more. Uh, but I don't need all the four-wheel driviness of it, but I like how meaty it looks. Uh, I had an Xterra for a number of years, and it's the same type of thing. I like that kind of a vehicle. But my Xterra, I think on average, I average like 16 miles to the gallon. The Toyota 4Runner, same kind of mileage. It's 2021. Why is that engine so freaking inefficient? I, I don't get it. So I'll never buy one because, first of all, it's like a $50,000 vehicle, which I don't need to spend that kind of money on a vehicle. It's just a car. Uh, and you're paying a ton of money on gas also. Um, and it's only available in automatic. Bam. But I'm just saying, why is a vehicle that's been, it's been around forever. It's been around since, well, the 90s for sure. I'm going to say 94. I'm just pulling a number. It might be 92. Why is it still so inefficient? It doesn't make any sense. You know, they have American vehicles like trucks that are more efficient than that. I mean, is there anything more inefficient than an American vehicle? Well, that used to be the case, but I guess not anymore. I don't know. That just that's just pissing money away, you know. Why should we think about it when you can just ride a bike? All right, here's my rant. You ready? I had to ride a bike. I didn't get my first car until I was in my mid twenties, and I had to ride a bike everywhere. I got rained on. Had to go to work. I ain't riding a fucking bike ever again. I don't, I don't give a shit. I've done my time. You know, while all my friends were 18 years old or whatever, or 16, 17, they had their cars and I had to ride a bike. Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not riding a bus either. Now I'll go to say Germany. Okay. And everybody has drives the bus and people, you know, and people of, uh, 
you know, a, and, and common people there ride buses. I'm okay with it. I'm fine going to New York City and not having a vehicle. But in suburbia where I live, I'm not riding a bike. You know, I, I've had, I, you know, it rains a lot here. You get hot. You smell bad. I've done my time. I did it for many, 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 many years while no one else did it. I'm not riding a fucking bike. End of story. <laughs> you can ride a bike for me. I'm not riding a bike. Not riding a motorcycle either, or a moped. I'm vehemently against that. I'll, I'll fight a fucking war against that. <laughs> Not going to do it. I did my time. Now, if I live in some kind of an environment like New York where... I went to New York, this was a long time ago, and people pay, I was going to say mortgage, rent for a parking spot, like several hundred dollars a month. And I, I mean like $500 a month for a spot to, no, then you don't have a car, you know, but I, I would never live in New York or LA or someplace that's just traffic light hell. No, I ain't riding a bike. You could ride a bike for me. Other people can ride bikes. Been there, done that. Many, many years. How many years? Well, I moved out when I was 19, 18, 18, 18. <sighs> Not doing that again. For exercise? Sure. For your tra method of transportation? Hell no. No. Should I mention my diesel car giving 40 plus miles per gallon around town and 80 plus on a run? I'm careful with the rail out pedal. Um, so I don't know if this is true, but they say diesel is cheaper to produce, but it's more expensive here. Um, and it drives the price of everything. You know, who cares what unlead it is? Because you can control that, theoretically. You know, you can control how much you drive, but the bread that comes in, all the everything that comes in comes on truck. It runs on diesel. Diesel sounds annoying when it's running, though. <laughs> and which one is it? Okay, because I've already scared my daughter. My daughter just got her first car, and um, I've already scared her into make sure you don't put diesel in the tank. Um, if you put diesel... In the fuel tank, I'll ask you gearheads this because I don't know that. I just, uh, I just, I just drive. I'm not interested in the inner workings. Um, not when it comes inside the engine and stuff like that. If you put diesel in an unleaded, you ruin it. But if you put unleaded in a diesel, it'll blow up, right? Those glow plugs will set it off. I don't remember. I guess I could look it up. But hey, I have an audience here. Um... I don't know how ethical that is, but the world is overpopulated. Yeah, well, too many people have kids that shouldn't have kids. They need a hobby. If you have a hobby like this, you won't have kids. You know, you don't have as many kids. Uh, I have one, so, and I'm good. Um, And, you know, if you can't afford them, don't have kids, man. What's your problem? Do condoms not be made? Are condoms not made in your size? <laughs> I, I did have it correct. Okay. Yeah. 
If you put a uh, diesel in a regular gasoline engine, what happens? I mean, obviously, if you if you you don't start the the car, then you just have to pump out the gas tank and probably do some kind of a treatment. But if it's in your system, I don't know. That's, I said never use the green one. <laughs> oh, I'd rather just get gas for her. I don't like my girls going to gas stations. There's there's questionable activity that happens at all of them. There's just I go on there. I'm a scanner. I'm always looking for what's that guy's up to. Hmm, that guy doesn't look like he's up to any good. I don't want to. They don't need to pump their own gas. I'll, I'll pump it for them. I mean, they can. Just you know, they're a target. And I'm not saying that because I was somebody that targeted women. I was actually, I was a nice guy. I was the one that, when I went on dates, the parents liked me more than the date. I'm just saying, you know, I see what happens. Man, that coffee's strong. Woo! So I had too much coffee one time while I was painting. And you think it'd give me the shakes. No. What it did is it gives me the squirrel. Like, oh, what's that over there? Oh, you, you know, I'm, I'm like in a million different directions, but I don't have the shakes. So hopefully that's a good sign that I'll never get the shakes. I'll rather get, as I get older, um, I'd rather have the shit in the pants than the shakes. Because that can be off camera. You know. <laughs> I don't want the shakes, please. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't want any of that stuff, but I'm just saying, if we're picking, I do not want the shakes. That would be bad. I would not want colorblindness either. We were talking about that at work. Somebody was colorblindness. I'm like, if I went colorblind, I mean, obviously there's worse things, like regular blindness, but I, I don't, dude, I need, I need my colors, man. I need to do my colors. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no biking for me, man. You travel somewhere and the ground's wet and you get this stripe of wetness on the back of your of your pants, shirt. It's just cruel and unusual punishment. I've been there. And for exercise, absolutely. No problem. I have one. But not for traveling to and from work you know, on the road where you're going to get hit. I see these things, and it doesn't happen that often, but you see these things. Some guy is retired, so they're out riding. They're out riding road. They're, you know, they're racers. They're road guys, road uh, bike racers. You know, they retire, and the guy gets killed in traffic. Well, you're riding in freaking traffic. Now, I understand, you know, I understand that bikes have a right to be on the road as well, but you don't get a do-over with a bike, you know. You you don't get. To, you're only allowed one fatal mistake, and I don't want to die. I don't want to die after I've worked my entire freaking life, and it's like, okay, cool. This is what I'm living for. Boom. You know, no, no. I'm. Uh, that's that's when I need to be living it up and taking no risks. You know. Like, you want to go to the grocery store? No, nah, we'll just get our groceries from Amazon. I might get hit by a truck. No, but my dad actually knew somebody who had retired, and uh, yeah, they were a, they were a bike racer, and they got killed by you know people are out there driving vehicles and they're irresponsible, and it's worse each day. You know, there's a lot of people in this world that like. I'm going to first admit I'm a horrible multitasker. So what do I do? I don't multitask, right? But these people that won't admit it and like they'll put on makeup and surf on the phone and change channels and eat a hamburger and they're reading a book. I've seen people read a physical book going down the highway, like a book, like, you know, they're reading, you know, C.S. Lewis or some shit like that, you know, going down. I mean, what do you or people that will go behind a truck and they're, 
you know, like a tractor trailer, and they're half the length of the truck from the back of the truck. Like, I'm, I just don't have faith in other people. I'm like, I need a way out, you know, and I just don't trust that the person in front of me is going to break. So that's the worst thing you can do is not driving fast. It's following too close or, you know, reading a physical book going down the road. But many people pretend to care about the environment, but I think very few do that. Many think they do something for the environment when they donate a little and when they buy some environmentally friendly products. It's the woke people. Road racers, bikes are a pain known as mammals. Middle aged man in black. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. As a friend of mine used to call, who was a who was a bike racer, used to call it uh, plum smuggling. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, I don't pretend to care about the environment, and I don't donate to those other things, but I pick up my trash. Social, what's, what's, what's the name? What's, what's the name for that term? Um, crap. Oh, man. It's a 2021-2020 saying. The dictionary of, of, of new terms. Virtue signaling. I don't do that. You know? Like you see somebody on a bike all by himself wearing a mask in not a populated area. Okay. Maybe you have a... Oh. But you can do whatever you want. I mean, you know, I believe in freedom. You know, I should be able to do whatever the hell I want as long as it doesn't impede on somebody else's freedom. But I don't, I don't virtue signal at all. You know, I am what I am and I'm proud of it and that's what you get. And if you meet me in person, I'm the same person. You know, I act the same way around my wife. You know those people that they act a different way around their wife and they act a different way around their buddies? I don't like those people. Just be yourself, man. Virtue signalers. But I do do stuff like, you know, I'll go to Starbucks, okay? I get a plastic cup, like this one. When did I get this one? June 16th, I'm still using it. They make good plastic cups. That's why their cup is so expensive. I mean, yes, I don't keep them for a freaking two weeks every time, but they go in the recycler. But I try to reuse them because why not? They're good, and they've got, look, they got little sippy top lids, you know? That's that's how you get rid of straws. Give people sippy top lids. You know? Feel free to quote it. <laughs> that's great. That's brilliant, as you folks say across the pond. That's one of those sayings that I do like. Brilliant. But um You know, I'm fine with them making paper straws. They just need to be better. They they suck right now. And we have the technology to go to freaking Mars on a ro on a rover that's supposed to last three months and it lasts ten years or whatever it was. I'm not I didn't follow it, but you know, why can't we make a straw that that doesn't fall apart after, you know, sipping on it twenty times? You know? I'm all for making things that are more sustainable. Uh, I've had those uh, things in the, um, what are those meals that you put in the microwave or whatever, and they have the, the bowl is made out of something that's similar to this. Hey, I'm all for it, or it's made out of coconut, or that's cool, you know, it's not like we need to use plastic for everything. But 
it can't be like you heat it up and then you go and take it out and then it falls on the floor because it, it melted through. You know, you, you got to have the technology there. <laughs> you know, if you pay for something and it doesn't work, you overpaid. But I live in a pretty green city, so I really don't want any more restrictions on me when cities that aren't green at all don't have any. It's like, okay, you, you know, you come up to our level and then we can talk, you know. But then they got some dumbfounded ideas somehow. I, I know they were kicking around this idea several years ago. And my city has about a hundred and... 40,000, 140, 130,000 people in it. It's nothing big. And yeah, the traffic can be bad, but at certain times in certain places, I, I the traffic really isn't an issue here. Traffic was bad here. I wouldn't want to live here, but, um, you know, they were kicking an idea that the main thoroughfare through town that I rarely take because it's a, it's a cluster of traffic lights, et cetera. And nobody has that idea of, why don't we coordinate traffic lights? I've seen it in other cities. I've seen it in downtown Jacksonville. They do it. You hit one light and that's it. And then that's the one you stop at and you just go through all of them. I mean, if you're going 10 miles an hour, yeah, you're going to hit another one. But if you're going the speed limit, which is like 30 through there, you'll, you won't hit any other ones. They can do it there. Why can't they do it in other cities? Why isn't that mandated? You know, the government likes to mandate things. Mandate that. Um, people aren't as frustrated. You get to stop one time. Problem solved, right? Win-win. But they were kicking an idea around that they were going to, to solve the traffic problem here. They were going to spend money to take a four-lane road and turn it into two, a two-lane road. So they were going to spend money to make a road smaller so that it would create more congestion so people would be wanting to to bike or take a, a, a bus. Now, I can see having to take a bus because the traffic is congested, but why would you throw money at something and destroy something so that it works worse? I mean, that's kind of like, you weren't beaten enough as a child. That's, that's, that, that's the people, you know? But luckily, they, it didn't fly. But it's like, why would you throw money at a problem and make it worse? <sighs> that's it. More coffee, more rants. Not a rant, just an observation. Okay, so this this guy, we're happy with this color. It's different than this one. Slightly. Is it? Ever so slightly? <laughs> oh, Mitch, you bastard. And um, so the undershirt for this guy is we're going to do red. We're going to do a, a dull type of red. Leaving lights on. Why do people, I'm here alone in this house. There is no other light on in the entire house other than this one. Why? Why would there be a light all the way on the other side of the house that doesn't uh, do any good? You know, I lived alone many, many years and I only had, I always had like a spotlight following me around. Not because I wanted to be the center of attention. Well, I'm the only one there. I kind of am, but uh, it's just wasteful. You're wasting, forget the environment. It's just dumb. You're paying more money for no reason. And it, it just doesn't make any sense. So the local utility company here, about 10 years ago, pushed this thing that we need to be, we need to, we need to conserve energy and we need to conserve energy and we need to conserve energy. And it's like, okay, you're in the business of selling energy. Uh, I mean, I, I'm all for conserving stuff because it's just dumb and wasteful. But 
That's like somebody who sells crack saying, you don't need to smoke so much crack. Like that's what you're in the business of doing. So I knew there was an alternative, alternative motive. And my wife's like, ah, they just want people to conserve stuff. Well, sure enough, a year goes by and they send this letter out. Everybody did such a good job of conserving energy that we're now raising our millage rate. So in other words, you're raising how much each unit of energy costs because they couldn't, they didn't, people didn't consume enough. So it didn't, it didn't generate the income to cover their overhead cost for the retirement programs and stuff like that for the utility company. So it just ben didn't benefit anybody other than you, you charge more money. So stuff like that, when stuff like that happens, it's like, no bueno, no, that, that shouldn't be. And I'm all for conserving stuff because it's stupid to waste energy. It's, it's, it's wasteful. That's, isn't that the definition of waste? It wastes things. It's just dumb. Like I'm all for solar power, but we need to make the solar power thing cheaper because, you know, if you don't grab the solar power while it's there, it's gone. You know, it's wasteful not to grab it, but I'm not going to spend thirty, thirty thousand dollars on panels for my house, you know, because it doesn't make any sense. You have no idea which minifigures I should buy. Boy, there's a host of them. I know that they should be 15 millimeter tall, cheap historical or antique figures. Tony, help me. So give me a little bit of background information. Um, what are you looking to get? A DBA army and you don't have one? If that's the case, I have recommendations. Buy, buy a Essex army pack for sure. It's not what I would do, but it's what I would recommend people doing because you guys don't, you don't need a host of extra figures. It's going to be frustrating, you know? Is this for your first DBA army? Let me know. And I can send you a link of where to get them. Because I have the computer. I can't do it on the phone, but I can do it on the computer. And no, I'm not tied into Essex. I'm not tied into anybody, you know. Um, don't want to be. That's, that's dishonest. Yeah, and the 15 millimeter tall used to mean it means something it may mean something different depending on the ver manufacturer it's from the feet to the eye so you know you have to do that because if they're wearing like napoleonic shakos or whatever they're much taller you know with on top of that so but if you don't have a dba army i would definitely recommend a dba arm a, a essex army pack because that at least gets you started and then if you want to Say, well, I don't like these figures. Let me buy another one. But just buying everything from scratch, it's it's just too big of a. It's and I recommend Essex because they have the they have the biggest variety of any of them. And there's other companies that make army packs, for DBA, but they don't they don't have anywhere near the variety of Essex. So. I'm a complete beginner. I haven't bought the rule book yet and only know that DVA needs 15 millimeter. Well, you got to get the rule book first. Is there an army in particular that you're looking for? Um, Theo, you're the one that's half German and half Thai. Is that correct? They don't make Thai army packs. They make Thai figures, and they're awfully nice. And I've been tempted to, to get them, but I don't need to go down there. I love, I love the Asian armies. Love them. And then I'm tempted to, you know, eat Thai food since I have a Thai army. I won my first tournament with a Korean army, and I'm like, oh, we got to go have Korean food now. I still haven't had it. Not because I've avoided it. It's just, it just hasn't happened yet. Hopefully you got the rules on the way. But you don't need the rules to buy a DBA army pack. So you just have to decide what are you know what army you want to uh, want to use, and there's there's a there's a ton of them. There's like five hundred and something of them. Um. Romans are good to start with. Uh, Polybian Romans will always recommend people. Like, if you don't have an army and you want to do Polybian Romans, they're right in the middle of what DBA is about, ancients and all that stuff. Um, 
they're a good army. They're good against everybody. Um, they're easy to paint. Um, you know, but if it's not your cup of tea, if you're not interested in that, I mean, like, I went and, you know, I, I built uh, Feudal Spanish first because that's what I am. So um, I wanted to do the um, Reconquista stuff. So um, that's what I decided to do first. But I didn't do it with an army pack. I bought individual figures, but um, bought way too many figures. But that's all right. I still have them for some other project. DBA can you play 15 on 28? Was it just getting the rule book before buying moths? Imagine you order Asian food and then play Asian armies on the side. Well, this country is very. We're set in our ways about a lot of stuff. And I'm speaking generally, and the generalization is less true every day because. It's changed a lot during my lifetime, and I'm not that old. But um, it's very accepting of food from other places. Very much so. Um, it's not like everybody here just eats hamburgers. Um, this, um, they're very welcoming of food from other places. So what I always like to tell people, it's, you know, people will, a lot of people will refrain from playing Asian armies, and the reason is, is I don't know anything about them. But, well, why don't you freaking learn? I mean, you know, um, and I'll always say, so you'll eat the food, but you won't play the army. And honestly, I like playing the armies more than the food. And it's not that I don't like Asian food, but um, I, don't get, I don't get Asian food from just anywhere. So um, I much prefer the armies are super, super cool. Super, super cool. The only bad thing about Asian armies, the only bad thing about them is that their flags suck. All of the Chinese dynasty flags, you think, oh, there'd be like a cool dragon or there would be something like this. Nope. It's like the character of their dynasty on a white or a yellow or a red background and, you know, fringes on the flag. That's it. Nothing cool, painted, no designs. You know, I mean, I guess the script is a design, but it just looks lame, um, in my opinion. Even, even when you make one that's really cool looking, and I'll pull out my song here the other day, because the, the song, I have a cool looking flag. But still, it's, and I'm a flag person, so, you know, I want like an eagle, or I want something cool on them. You know, nope. Nope, not with the Asian armies. And it's unfortunate, because their troops are super cool looking. And their history is really interesting. This is a pain to cut. Good advice is to buy an army you can love you when it loses. That's good advice. That's good advice. Yeah. You'll eat the food, but you won't play the army. But... It's just a stupid character or characters. That's it. It could they could have made like a dragon. I mean, come on. There's all all art from Asia is really awesome looking, you know. I mean, the Indian stuff could have like elephants, and I mean, I guess you could make your own. But I'm just saying, if you're trying to be realistic, you know, um, it's just a shame. But I didn't pick their history. I wouldn't have started Unix. <laughs> you know, but Asian armies, uber cool. So. But yeah, a lot of people have attitudes. I don't play Asian armies because I don't know anything about them. Well, how about read about them? Now, the, the other bad thing about Asian armies is the script. Because you can't... I don't speak German. Okay? Uh, well, I... I know my Blitzkrieg German. We've talked about that, but you know certain words or whatever done in a in in a in a war setting or whatever, and only a, a handful of them. But I can recognize the words, so I can decipher some things. But you can't decipher stuff with the script if you don't know the script. So it's it's very hard to unlock that 
as a Westerner or someone who's not familiar with that. It's just a shame. It's, not, it's a shame that we all didn't say, okay, let's just all use the same alphabet. Can we just do that? I mean, even the Turks got it, you know? I don't speak Turkish, but I can recognize, okay, that's what the word is for flag. So let me search for that and see what I get on the internet. So maybe it'll come to, and it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit better than, you know, it's a little bit better than that, but, um, but it's, it's difficult doing researching on that kind of stuff. And a lot of the stuff that we want to find out about was just never written about. Like nobody was written about like, okay, what was the, what was the infantry colors of the shields of this, of the Sung dynasty, uh, uh, heavy infantry like nobody cared you know or they did write it about about it and you know and it, the stuff didn't survive you know um, so but love love those Asian armies and I'll be honest with you I don't consider India Asia <gasps> what are you saying when I'm thinking Asian armies I'm like Burma over okay Burma to Indonesia Japan because the other stuff is just, India is kind of its own thing. And yes, India is in Asia, but that's, lots of people play Indian armies because they have lots of elephants. I'm just talking about the Asian armies that don't get, you know, played much is, you know, uh, the Khmer, the Burmese, the, the Siamese, the, all the Chinese dynasties, um, uh, the, the Malay, um, Chola, uh, all that stuff, the Koreans. All the Korean dynasties, which is a, a bunch of, you know, they're cool. And the Asian armies are cool. I mean, the, the Indian armies are cool too, but they're kind of in their own category, you know. Um, they didn't really venture out a whole lot um, for the most part. There's exceptions to it, but for the most part, they, they didn't. The Cholas did venture out, but for the most part, they stayed kind of, you know, the Indian subcontinent, there was just so many little dynasties that they had to fight over to to unify them all was just was 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 difficult but um i love all that stuff you know um it's really really cool and it's a shame more people don't know about it you know and then when they do make a movie about it they do like that so 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 i i probably said it wrong that is outside of the period of DBA. I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm sure there's probably other, other army, other movies like that. But the Koreans are big on their historical drama. The Chinese, very little, and the Japanese, not at all. It's almost like, oh, we better not do that, or we go to war again. You know, uh, it's cool. You should sell it. You know, you, you should. You know, have people remember about, you know, what happened. I mean, you could do all kinds of really interesting samurai things, but they just, they don't do it. And then when they do do it, they do something that is inspired by the West, either with the stupid last samurai thing movie or Ron, which I absolutely hate Ron because it's King Lear. And that's like, there are so many interesting stories that are that are not western influenced that the west could learn from their history but it's like they don't show that you know and it's just it's a shame i mean just that whole three kingdoms thing the three kingdoms chinese thing i mean i could gobble that stuff up i played video games i mean yeah it's a historical but there's a lot of really cool things that happened and there's millions of people that died in those conflicts so it's not like well it wasn't anything significant it's not significant because you don't know about it. Not because it wasn't epic. It's, you know, some of those battles were epic on an epic scale that is unimaginable. Even if they're exaggerated some, you know, the some of the battles in the West are exaggerated also. So, but it's like, let us know about this really interesting things. Forget your freaking 99 cent buffet. I don't care about that. I want to know about the, the history that happened in uh in in these massive conflicts you guys had you know you have to go now okay well if you have to go now then you have to go that's that see you uh tomorrow harvey oh i don't have to work tomorrow so you know what that means that's another painting morning
right? Today's Sunday. I have tomorrow off. Yeah. Yeah, but when I found out that Ron was Shakespeare, that's like, I wanted to punch somebody. And I'm not even Asian, you know? My car is, but... <laughs> um, there's all kinds of really interesting things that happen. There should... <sighs> it's it's just it's just sad. And I mean Mitch gets it. We love actually, you know what? Everybody that I've played DBA with frequently are pro Asian. They, they they get it. They get the fact that, you know, their armies are combined arms. Um, they're well rounded, they look cool. Um just because they get ignored. And I think the I think a good part of why they're ignored is the script problem. You can't go in and you know, and and just read things, you know, because it's in a, it's in a different font. You can't understand that stuff. You know, it's not like oh, we need to downplay their their importance. Um, it's just a, it's the font thing. I'd get a lot more done if I didn't talk about things. But you know what? I'd also like, I wouldn't be doing this, this as long as I have. So I don't mind distractions and stuff because it keeps me on task. So if you let me know what army you're looking for, I'll point you in the right direction there, Theo. But yeah, it should definitely be something you're interested in. I mean, you shouldn't buy like a French army if you don't care for that, you know, or... Romans, if you don't care for that period, or but yeah, order the book on Lulu. We sent you the link for the. You need the link for the uh, the book on Lulu to get it. It's relatively inexpensive, and Lulu's print on demand. I don't know how shipping is to where you're at. I don't. I I don't think I don't I don't think you told me where you where you're at. Just what you were. Um, but I think it's reasonable to Europe and the United States. Because I'm pretty sure that it doesn't get printed in the U.S. and goes to Europe. I think they have a printer in Europe as well. I could be wrong. But, um, yeah, let me know what you're interested in. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and send you that link now. I'll go ahead and post it on here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go open up my Google Foo and go um, DBA 3.0 Lulu. That's L-U-L-U. -L -U. Blammo. There we go. First one that comes up. 1842 in stock. I'm going to send you this link. And we're going to put it here. And hopefully that link works for you. Australian Greg, happy Independence Day. Spearman? Yes, Spearman. Just for the record, my ancestors weren't here when that Independence Day thing happened. We were, out, we were in the old country uh, taking a siesta. Or so I've been told. We weren't part of those Puritans that got kicked out of Europe because they weren't fun at parties. We were fun at parties. We're the headliners at parties. <laughs> you 
finish the chariot and team for Boudica. Get your Boudica over here. <laughs> Excellent. I think that's a decent matchup, Boudica versus early Imperial Roman. I think that's a decent matchup. I have an early Imperial Roman army from a while ago, and I've never, I've never built it. It was an army pack that was put together by one of our vendors. He liked to do that, and it was old glory figures. And I just, you know, the problem is that I got it before I knew Mitch, and then you know, Mitch has two of them or something like that. So it's a shame that the Siams don't wear armor. Yeah. Yeah, we don't get to pick the army. It's more of a shame that they don't have an awesome looking flag. You could make one. I mean, I would I would have to do something with like an elephant or something like that. It's just there's too many elephants running around loose there to not have an elephant on a flag. That's just that would just be too cool. Well, like the current flag. The current flag's cool. Oh, I'm that's Cambodia. Mm. What does the current Thai flag look like? Thai flag. It's got red and blue on it, doesn't it? Okay, yep. Okay, no emblem. Yeah, it's Cambodia that has a little elephant. How about historical Thai flag? I'm not going to be able to go as far back as I can. Okay, it used to have one. It used to have an elephant. White elephant. One night in Bangkok. That reminds me of one of my favorite Asian jokes. Confucius say, man who go to airport turnstile backwards going to Bangkok. They had a lot of like uh, gold leaf kind of stuff. You could do, man, you could do some really great stuff with that army. But it's expensive because if you're not in the United States, it Kurasan's expensive to ship to you. And it's not an army pack, so you'd have to buy the individual figures. So it's expensive. But you could have a lot of fun with that. You could have a lot of fun with those guys. Done. And it's a good army. Not if you roll a lot, of, not if you roll poor pips, because the elephants won't be moving, but. It's good other than that. You like the Bangkok thing, right? The hair, the dress that she's wearing. You go into battle. Would that be a, would that mean she's wearing battle dress? <laughs> oh, that's my dad joke for the day. Uh, the rest of them will just be offensive. Um, still. And for those of you guys that re recommended, we were talking about comedians yesterday. I did sit down and watch Jimmy Carr, and that's the kind of humor I like. He's basically a more polished Daniel Tosh. Um, I, I like I like that kind of stuff. I like that taboo stuff. Well, I didn't watch his whole routine. I watched like I did a search for him, and it came like. The 20 most offensive things that he said, well, I got to click on that. It's the most offensive things. I like that kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff I like. Yeah. You say something bad, and then you make it worse by pouring gasoline on it. Yep. That's the kind of humor I like. Um, okay, it's time for protein shake time. I'll be right back.
we have a we have a Thai restaurant that's relatively close to the house, so maybe you'll inspire me to go there. Although I'll tell you what, I don't like Thai food for only one reason, and it's not the reason you think it is. Because the reason you think it is is because it's too spicy. Oh no, this person can handle it and loves spicy food. And so does actually all three of us do. My daughter and I really like spicy food. It's peanut stuff. I don't like, and I don't, I'm not allergic to peanuts because I'm from a generation where when I was growing up, nobody was allergic to peanuts. Or if they were, people would be ashamed of having a child that was born allergic to peanuts and they would kill them and bury them in the backyard and we never found out about them. I'm just saying that it just didn't happen. Everybody ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, not like they're some delicacy or anything. They're far from that, but it didn't exist. I just don't like the fact, it's actually not the peanuts, it's the peanut butter that they put in it to make the sauce. It just tastes too much like dessert to me. So a lot of this stuff has that, and we use the coconut milk too. And stuff like, this is like a dessert meat meal, you know? Um, but it's not the spicy. I love the, I love the, the Thai spicy hot stuff. Yeah, I can handle that. Um, you should YouTube eight out of 10. You should YouTube eight out of 10 cats does count. Did you say eight out of 10 cats does countdown? Jimmy Carr hosts a game show that should appeal to you. Good. I liked it. And he was a difficult, no subtitles. I, no problem understanding. Received pronunciation, right? Did I say that right? RP. Why didn't they just call it royal proper or something like that? RP. Yeah, I like that kind of humor. But I'm old school. People can't handle that now. It just laugh about stuff. No, nobody, nobody's serious about that. Like, I've always liked humor that's based on racial stereotypes. None of it's true, but it's funny. You got to laugh at yourself. That's what we used to do as a society. What the hell happened? I got into DBA. Literally, I got into DBA, and when I came back up for air, the entire world has changed. Like, what the, where am I? We just got to laugh at ourselves, man. You know, you're of a different persuasion than I am. That's cool. Can we laugh about our persuasions? No, that's offensive. Okay, well. Whatever. Don't watch my videos then, I guess. I don't dislike anybody by it what they are it's how you it's how you carry yourself every day there's bad people from every color and creed and there's good people from that too well we're talking about everything other than dba I just tell it like it is, you know? Okay. The other guy had blue leggings. How about going a little bit green on this thing? Ah, I understand. Yes, but it isn't in every meal. I don't know what it's like in a restaurant. My mom does very, very little with nuts. Awesome. I love nuts. I love them. I just... Uh, and you know what? It's the paste because one thing that's always good is if you go to a place that has fish and they do like a trout or something that's encrusted with almonds or pecans or anything like that is spectacularly good. It's not the nuts. It's the it's it's just too sweet. And I don't mind things that are sweet, but it's just like that. It's like a peanut butter sweet. It just turns into, you know. Just something that doesn't go. I can eat it. It's not like I won't eat it or it makes me gag. It's just, you know, when you're paying for a meal, I'm going to be a little bit pickier what I eat, you know, because I'm paying for it. So, and I have other choices. Um, 
to top oh top of the morning. Vlad's castle is very impressive. It is. I gotta get it painted because if some bastard goes and buys it, and I and I don't mean it loosely, a bastard, because that's like a that's like a dick move. I told you about it. You shouldn't have it painted before I do. So I gotta I gotta paint this in the next two weeks because there's no way somebody can do it before me. It's awesome. It's expensive. But you know, I wasn't gonna order 12 of them. You know, 12 different ones. Yeah, that one that you said that you were looking at about doing that uh, cock castle, is that how you say it? C O C H has got to be, which is in Wales, I think, somewhere. I, I would get that and totally use it for a French one because it's got the little turrets and everything that speaks that you know that's French, you know. Um, yeah, this thing's actually uh, pretty nice. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get down in here somewhere, but. Um, which means it's going to take a long time to paint this, but I don't know that it's pewter. It says it, it is, but yeah, cool stuff. They should make more things like this, you know, and, and I like them diminutive like this because it's in, in game scale ish. So anyhow, yeah, I didn't know that was the name of his castle, Brad. They named after the, they named that Game of Thrones blind kid that well cripple. Well, is he blind? I, I try to forget about that show. Did anybody like the ending of that show? It wasn't the ending as much as how they rushed it. It's like it took forever for that woman to come all the way across the world. And it's like as soon as she lands on the continent, it's like, okay, it's over. It's almost like, well, this could go another three seasons, but we want to wrap it up. All oh, Bran. <laughs> well, I got news for you. There's no fiber in that castle. Theo, are you on Facebook? That's the easiest way to contact me. And I don't get on there to argue about stuff. I use it for... The... Facebook has been great for this hobby. I don't care what you guys say. YouTube's been good too. But Facebook makes it really easy to, to contact. I don't use personal email at all. Um, it's very clunky. I rarely check it. Um, if you get multiple people on a thread... One person, you put a question out there, one person answers it. The second and third people don't check the first response, so they're answering the same thing. People will, you know, it's like you're trying to do a freaking uh, ballroom dancing in a room that has no lights on. You know, it's just a stumble fest, you know. You are on Facebook, okay. Well, look up my name or um, and uh, and you should see me. Uh, if you go to the DBA, here's what you do. Go to the DBA, um, uh, the two DBA groups. Hopefully you're on them. And I post on there a lot. I posted something this morning. Click on me, send me a friend request, and uh, we'll be in touch. And you can send me a picture. It's great for that. It's, it's accessible from everywhere. So you can get it from a phone. You can get it from your computer. Uh, I mean, yes, it has issues, okay? Facebook has issues. Um, my biggest issue with Facebook is I'll like be clicking through something. And um, it's funny what I'm going to say what my biggest issue with Facebook. It's not what you think it's going to be. Um, you'll be clicking through pictures and you'll see something and then you go back and then it's gone. When you go to that same group, it's not the first thing again. It's like it doesn't it's 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 clunky in that if you see something it's like I, I may see something for the first time and uh you know it's something that happened three days ago that i would have commented on earlier but i just saw it now you know so um you know it's not because they banned me from saying whatever whatever you know i don't put controversial things on facebook you know um so it doesn't affect me at all um Oh, there's too much advertising. Well, they're letting you use it for free. 
you know, so, you know, they got to make their money, you know. Well, I don't agree with they stand behind different things. Well, I don't agree with Starbucks stands behind things, but I still buy their product. You know, you, you gotta you gotta unclench a little, or you're gonna go live in a freaking hole. You know, I think most of us on this planet are a lot more alike than people in power want us to think, so they can keep us divided. So. Stun clench a little bit. Use it for your hobby. Don't get into political arguments with people. You're not going to change anybody's mind. You know, you're going to bat for some guy that's going to backstab you anyways. So, you know, why even do that? Just use it for your hobby, for relaxation. It's great for posting pictures. I love putting something, and then a year later it says, a year ago, this happened. You're like, oh, I mean, that was awesome. That was a good trip that I went. It's, I think it's wonderful, you know? I, I think it's wonderful. So... I, and it's been great for this hobby, so we can be in communication with each other, you know. Uh, Australian Greg, I've met him a couple of times, but I've, I, heck, we've communicated for 20 years almost, you know. Uh, you know, how, how, how could, you can't do that with another, you can't do that without that. So, and I'll say this again, I would rather... I'd rather never travel to Europe or another country. I'd, tra I'd rather never travel to another country because of whatever restrictions they put on us, but still have the internet connection. Because I think the internet connection is more important. It, it ties us all in together as a community. Um, so in other words, you know, 20 years ago when we didn't have all these restrictions or travel and everything, I would rather stay where we are now because it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot better. It's a lot better for, for that. So, although my internet is just as shitty as it was twenty years ago, has it? Our internet hasn't been upgraded since we've been here, and we've been here since two thousand and three. Yeah, twenty freaking years, and I'm still on freaking DSL, and it's freaking slow. So, don't come crying to me about your bad internet. I've been told it will be resolved soon. So that's good. Then we can do this while I'm connected to my Wi-Fi here and you and we can do it in 1080. Actually, that's not true. I'm going to have to get a camera for my computer, feed it through there. And then the camera, because it's it's because the whole thing is it's a mobile connection. Um, I may still be able to do it. But anyway, it's the mobile connection that gets dumbed down to 720. So, I mean, my phone can do 8K. It can't take a picture. That's not blurry for of figures that are, you know, uh, a foot away, but but I can take 8K video. Not that I needs to be in 8K, just saying, you know, you guys, I, I wish we had a better quality here than, than we do right now, but isn't coffee great? I wouldn't have been able to do, I, I would have given up if I hadn't had coffee. Caffeine's my drug of choice, no doubt. You guys watched The Blind General yet? Come on, you gotta see that. It's epic. We can't wait to play play it again. Tomorrow night we're supposed to be playing that. Again, I don't know what exactly what we're gonna do. I think we may combine Collision and Blind General. Collision Course is Mitch's favorite, so. Oh, hold on one second. Wife was just sending me a message that she's just boarding the plane from Colorado Stan coming back. Hurry, clean the house. I, I didn't touch. I've been in this room the whole the whole week, or at work. Almost, almost in this room the whole time. You'll be watching BG. What is that? I'll be watching BG tomorrow. I have no idea what BG is. I have an alternative name. Fog of War. Yeah, but it's got to be trendy. It's got to be trendier than that. 
We could change it. Yeah, Blind General isn't a great name, but hey, we had a moment's notice. I'll tell you what though, Greg, 20 years from now, when I come up, when I make my own set of rules that would be free, assuming I do that, it will definitely, everything will be blind like that. It's a better game. It really is. Oh, you'll be watching Blind General tomorrow. No, because I can't abbreviate F Fog of War. They'll be like, oh, so you play Flames of War? No, we're not flamers. <laughs> we don't play Flames of War. No. I, I gotta see how I gotta see how Luke handles that. I think he's in for a rude awakening. I just like that when you're playing it and you roll a one, you don't know you rolled a one. So you're not stressed out about it. And then when you try to move the second thing, your opponent says you're done. And then all the all the weight is lifted off your shoulders. Like, well, I did everything I could do. Instead of agonizing how you're going to spend the one but that's after three plays so who knows after 30 how i feel but blindsided okay let's see let's bring this up here What do, what do we got here? Okay. Bring this back. Blindsided is a good name. Blindsided DBA. You know, it just simulates that you don't know when it's going to be the opponent's turn to react to your movements. They could be really quick on the reaction, which basically means you rolled a one. And they get a, a they get their bound quick, or they could be slow, and that just means a lot of time passed when you by rolling the six. And justify it that way. The funny thing is, is the person who suggested playing that, that way wasn't there. It was Scott's idea. If we do do, if we do, if we do do, Sounds so odd. Collision course. We're probably going to try collision course on a 24. We've never played collision course on a 24. I didn't know you could. I had no idea you could. Skylab. Yeah, there you go. Blind general theme game. Nicely done. Was Scott in... No... Ew. I believe he said it, Gloucester, Gloucester, Glou I don't know, he even did it with a weird accent. <laughs> Glou Gloucester. He was doing it on purpose. I think he knew how to say it. You just do it on purpose to ruffle the feathers of you Brits. 
The one I hate is Lester. I hate Lester because Lester is like, sounds like a four letter word, you know, like lengthwise, not that it sounds like a bad word. It just sounds like a short word. And it's like freaking 12 letters long. <laughs> and it's, oh, we'll just call it Lester. What? No. Among the other ones. Um, uh, among the ones that are well-known. That's the one I do not like. Then there's a whole bunch of Welsh ones that... Just, God help you. Just, God help you. You know, they're 40 letters long and only two of them are vowels. <laughs> By the way, hope Tropical Storm Elsa remains a tropical storm. Looks like you guys are in for a lot of rain. Well, that's the one thing we don't need is more rain. I mean, not like it's going to cause any damage, but, you know. Um, yeah, it, the path it's going, it's unlikely that it would pick up speed. I mean, it's going to get, it's got to go over Cuba. Cuba's got some reasonable um, elevation. So it's going to lose steam over that. And then it's got a short jaunt between... I mean, here, fortunately, knock on wood, we're not really in a hurricane zone. There's, even when it comes straight for us, it loses so much power by the time it gets to us. It's trees falling on things you don't want. And the main thing is, it's people acting like it's the end of the freaking world. You know, getting into fights, pushing, you know, that, that's the, you know, that's the problem. Even in a society where we're all armed to the teeth, that still happens. So, uh, you know, I... I avoid. That's really the worst thing: is the people just acting like they're cuckoo, R run a run on all the water, a run. You know, like the storm's not even close, and they run on. There's a run on everything. It's like, you know, did you stock up on toilet paper? I said no. I got firearms. I'll go take them. If I have to wipe my ass that badly, I'll go take it from my neighbor. <laughs> no, it's just people acting like animals you know it's like an excuse to do that there'll be a line of people getting gas okay there's a line right so you get in the back of the line not somebody coming from another art from another direction and trying to cut in line and then the person who cut in line is the one getting mad i'm like what what about the people that have been waiting 30 minutes just just that kind of stupidity that's really the only thing that we get um even the year where we got the crisscross, it wasn't that big a deal. You know, we lost power for, I think, a couple days or something like that, which the worst thing, of course, of that is going to sleep, going to sleep warm with no fan. Ooh. Yeah, we don't need any more rain, man. We got plenty of rain. It's rained every day now for going on, I don't want to say a month, but... It was already raining every day when our birthday was around. So that was a couple of weeks ago. So it's probably, this is probably going to be the beginning of four, of week four of it raining every day. And not just the, it rains at three o'clock rain afternoon crap. No, I mean the whole day being rainy and gray. It's, I don't, I don't live in Florida for gray weather, pal. <laughs> so, it's all good. And honestly, I wish it had gone through over the weekend because my work is going to be a is going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to be really unsavory next week. But <clears throat> uh, I don't work Monday and I don't work Friday. I took the day off. Um, I'm going to go to the beach on Friday. But I had to cancel six days of my vacation. So I need to use them up before the end of the year. I can't carry them over in my job. So um, I canceled my Historicon week because it's not happening in July anymore. They moved it to November, which I'll never go to a convention in November. It is the wrong, it is absolutely the completely wrong month for me to go to a convention. That's anniversary month. And we're traveling out of country this year, supposedly. And um, so 
that's a no-go. So I got, I had to bring those days back in because I, I was going to be off all next week. But they moved to Storicon to November. And, um, and I had to cut my, my birthday trip short. We did something different. So I had to give two days back. So I got to use those days up or, you know, can't carry them over. So. And I like taking just a day here, a day there, because it's, it's for planning purposes. It's a hell of a lot easier. Less things can go wrong over one day, you know. Where was I hoping to go for an anniversary? Mexico. To a private, um, we'll call it an Airbnb. We're going with um, several other couples. That's the plan anyways. And um, where is it exactly? It's on the Pacific Coast. So. An all-inclusive house, like a big, we're just splitting it multiple ways. So we will see. Yeah, it's the big one. It's the 20 this year. Or so they say. I don't know. Doesn't seem like that long. But then I haven't done it before, so I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. Gloucester. Gloucester. I think that's how he said it. What a buffoon. <laughs> what is the name of it? How can I not remember this? I'm like a map god. I'm not getting excited about it because... It's too far away, and it may not happen. I mean, things could change, you know. We could have 12 different variants of the virus and by then, and, and they don't allow travel. Whatever. It, it'll be whatever it is, you know. What is the name of that place down there? Let me find it here. Is it Manzanillo? No, that doesn't look right. It's funny. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the shoreline because I remember what the shoreline looks like. Let's see. It's not Mazatlan. Man, I don't remember. I will when I see it. They have an airport. They have an airport that's right on the water. Oh, he's going to bug the hell out of me. Thanks, Australian Greg. <laughs> oh, you'd think I'd know, though. It's my own damn fault. It tells you how much I've thought about it. I don't remember. I don't remember where it is. But it's a small city. It's a small city, but it has its, its own little airport. And it's not even with... Um, it's not even with Baja... So it's between Baja and Acapulco, somewhere on the coast. 
even meaning it's not at the same latitude, it's south of that. I'm not going to be able to leave this alone. This is going to drive me crazy. As I'm famous for going to a place, and then I'll look at, I'll look at where I've been on Google because I live at, on Google Maps. Uh, there's a volcano right on the coast. Cool. Well, I don't live there. Uh, man, I didn't think it was south of Puerto Vallarta. I think it's Manzanillo. I think that's where it is. I could be wrong. Where's the airport? Maybe not. I don't know, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there, anyways. Or is it Sino Botanejo? Where the hell is this place? Oh well. Congratulations, I'm officially gone crazy now. I don't remember where it is. Anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, let's bring this back up. You were 44 this year. <laughs> Cluster works as well. Isn't that in the Midlands somewhere? Let's see. Gloucester. Uck. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. Actually, I don't know where the Midlands begin and where they end, so I better stop running my mouth about that. Okay. Oh, it's right, uh, right at that... That muddy ass river runs into it. Is it really that muddy? That's awful. That's awful looking. That looks like the Mississippi, which is awful. Um, whatever river that is that comes. Severn. Okay. Oh, Tewksbury's nearby, ish. Okay. Man, there's plenty of trees in England. Why can't you guys chop some of them down and get and get wooden products there? <laughs> oh man. Let's see what we got here. Go back to whatever we're doing here. Did you see Mike Cole has a new book out on the Spartans? I think it's called The Bronze Myth. I didn't, but he's coming out with a book later this year that I did find out about it and I reserved it. Is um, is it available on Audible? He got a couple of things wrong in his um, in his his uh, book on, um, and I forget exactly what it was. Might have been on elephants. It might have been on Paris's elephants. It was I was either one that thought that Paris's elephants could have been African. They weren't African. They definitely weren't African forest elephants. They were they were Asian. They may have been, but I'd never painted them as African forest elephants. Um, so 
let's see. Uh, let's go to, since we're continuing to go off on tangents, not that I mind, let me go to my Audible account. I may not be able to access it from this computer. No, I can't, but I can at least check for... That's right, he has a weird spelled mic, doesn't he? Let's see what he has. I got so many credits, I don't know how to... How to use them. Oh, he has multiple things. I didn't know that. Oh, is this fan... Oh, because he does fantasy stuff, too. He has some book coming out. I think he's the one that has the book coming out in like September or something like that. Or maybe it's um, maybe it's Dan Jones that has the the one coming out. The Bronze Lie. What's this one about? Unabridged audiobook. It gives you no details. Oh, it's pre order. Release day in September. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking about. Anyhow, I enjoyed his uh, Legion versus Phalanx, but Pyrrhus did not use African forest elephants. Not in my world. They were. Uh, Asiatic ones. It's worth watching. It, it's worth listening to, definitely. Okay, I'm going to use a little boy's room and then we'll be back for some more painting. Okay. Time for lights out here in Australia. Okay. See you tomorrow, Greg. Then we can get this guy done. I'm terrible about drying my hands after washing them. Terrible about it. Okay, so this guy needs a little cough and red around his head. Got it. Because that matches his undershirt. All right. And I the other thing I tried to look up is you guys were talking about that Gillette ad that would bother everybody. I couldn't find it. All I could do is find people's comments on, on it. I couldn't find the actual ad. Oh, well. Comments about toxic masculinity. I don't know what was in the ad. There's no doubt that some people do things they shouldn't be doing, you know, but I've never done those kind of things. And, uh, you know, I don't need to be uh, admonished for things I didn't do. My name is not Jesus. I'm not here to pay for your sins. You can admonish me for my own doings, not somebody else's. Um, I wonder if this is the same red. Yeah. Ah, 
That's that's such a good brush. That's such a good brush. That one could be too. We gotta use a crappier brush. It's taking me a long time to paint this dude. Oh well. We're having fun, aren't we? We're not on a timetable here. Another guy that's got the nose of the child catcher. <laughs> there are children here. I can smell them. Seven quiet watchers. Tell me story. <laughs> oh, man. So we did that video, that little live video of what games we're planning on running at uh, Huracan. Hopefully it, uh, things don't go sideways and, and that doesn't come to happen. But if it does, it does, whatever. Need to reserve the hotel room. I don't, I don't like... When did this start happening where you end up paying for a hotel room before you ever stayed in it? Probably the same time that you have to pay for gas before you pump it. That didn't used to be the case. I get it, you get charged if you don't give them enough notice to fill the room. I get that, but... Scott Gregory, are you going to Historicon this year? Not in November, I'm not. I can never go to a convention in November. I'll be out of town. That's anniversary month. So, as soon as they moved it from July to August would have been okay. Uh, September would have been bad because our local convention. I could have done October. I can do December. Um, I can do January, February. I, I cannot do November, ever. So I'll never go to Fall In. It's, it's just the wrong. You know, we're going to go to one big one out, out east, so it might as well be the one that's the longest. I mean, we have to do the drive. The drive's forever, so might as well have lots of days where you're not driving. But the November movement, forget it. It's just not, not going to work for me. So 
And um, I don't know if they're going to have a mask mandate or not. If they have a mask mandate, I wouldn't go either. You know, not that I'm opposed to masks, but I'm not going to wear one for 12 hours to do something that I can do at home and do every week. So, see, some people have to game a lot more than we do. We, we game enough as it is. <clears throat> that doesn't mean we want to be in some mosh pit, but where we game at Historicon is off the side anyways. We're not really around that many people, you know, but... Uh, we were going to not run any things at our convention here locally, but because they had a mass mandate for the for our thing, and we're literally like in a in a side area, you know, we're not near people, so um, yeah, Mitch and I won't go if if there's a mass mandate. That's fine. It's you know I'm not going to poo poo it. There's other people that want to do it that need get, need to game a lot more than we do, so. Um, that's just too long for, and I can't understand anybody. Um, where was I yesterday? Oh, I went to go do a return, and this girl had a mask on, and I didn't. She spoke really softly, and I, I didn't. I'm like, I had literally had to stick my ear ear in her face, is I didn't know what the hell she was saying. Oh man, that was stupid. I already have it over here, so I can't understand people. So. My wife actually knows of somebody that actually did not want the mask to go away because she says, well, now that, there, now that there's not any masks, then I have to pretend to smile at people. And I'd rather just see everybody. I'm, I'm like, what planet are you from? Because we're from different planets. So. I'm fine not going to another. If there's manda mask mandates at every show, I, would, I just won't go to another show. You know. But that doesn't seem to be the case right now, but you know, that could just change at the drop of a hat. And you know, I come from a background that I haven't gotten any free days to stay at home or anything because of this. It's just been business as usual at work. If anything, busier than normal. So, you know, I leave work and all of a sudden I'm like, what's this end of the world thing going on? So it's very strange to me. If you work at a hospital, you probably have a different out outlook than I do. But um, Want to go to Storcon so bad. I'm only around four hours away in New York State, but November is kind of iffy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I don't know if uh, Pennsylvania is on lockdown or who knows what's going to happen, you know? More and more of the East Coast cons are making it harder to even want to attend, too. Many other cons which are better, easier to access, and more bang for your buck. Well, there's no reason for me to go to shop. Um, it's just to hang out with folks that... Honestly, it's to hang out the folks. It's not even gaming. I mean, we game every week, you know. Uh, I don't need to go for that, so. They're finally open New York State. No mask if you're vaccinated. Only the hospital and schools are requiring a mask. No. I just couldn't believe when I heard that somebody didn't want them to, didn't want to go back to at normal because... They, they felt more comfortable wearing one. I don't want to interact with people with one. I, I would go in a store, wear my mask, get what I needed, and get out and interact with no one because I can't understand them. Um, you know, you can't read lips. I don't hear well to begin with. Um, and, you know, I'm like, get in, get out. Walk up to the door, put the mask on, do your thing, cross the threshold, take the mask off, go home. You know, uh, not riding a bike around wearing one. You can do one if you want, but I'm like, you know. And I'm sure we've all come in contact with it by this time. And some of us are not susceptible to it or less or not lucky or whatever, but uh, I'm certainly not afraid of it. I'm afraid of other things. 
You know what I'm afraid of? I woke up this morning and there's a freaking lightning storm rolling in, so I unplugged everything. I'm scared to death of freaking lightning, okay? That stuff's scary, you know? Um, so. I don't, man, do not mess with lightning. That's like the worst thing. That's the worst thing that, you know, that I've experienced, so. Huracan, Nashcon, CincyCon, I guess that's Cincinnati. Gen Con, Augusta, etc. Went to Augusta one time, I won't go back. It's not worth my brownie points. It's five hours away for us. It's it's just not worth it. You know, if I go to his Siege of Augusta, I'm like, I lose the brownie points to go to Historicon, so I'd rather not do that. Yeah, it's okay. Nashcon's always on a fam. It, it's always been on Memorial Day. That's a family weekend. You know, I'm not going to like take off for Memorial Day and like go to play games. That wasn't. That's what it was in the past. I don't know if that's still the case, but I'm like, that's like the wrong weekend. You know, that's like holding a convention over Fourth of July. That's like for family stuff. You know. I mean, maybe if you don't have a family, it's it'll work out for you. But I'm not going to go one of those things. Like, hold it. Let's do a convention over Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, coffee refill time. We'll be right back. They changed NASHCON to not conflict with Memorial Day, but that might have been a one-time thing for COVID. Yeah. Uh, hey, if it works for people there, then that's good. It's their sh it's their show. I was trying to get several years ago to get the you know uh, NASHCON is supposedly the same organization that runs them to Siege of Augusta, and I know that back in the day there was a there was a reasonable DBA presence and and um, in Nashville and I was trying to get the the guys from Nashville to come to Siege of Augusta and we'd meet them there to both of our groups but several of the guys were like it's too far to drive I'm like okay well we're not going to go to Nashville I mean we went to Siege of Augusta it's five hours away and it's about the same kind of distance to them and they don't want to travel to it and and it's their own area's show you know mid-south and um, they didn't want to go to it. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I don't want to go. I don't want to travel for like a one-day con. It's not worth it. You know, I, remember, we're gaming every week. Um, I could technically game more than once a week, but I don't. One, once is enough. Um, so it throws off my sleep schedule when I go, so... I would have played yesterday, but some sissy boy had to work tomorrow yesterday, and it wasn't me. I got to remember, I got tomorrow off too. Yes! I get such few days off that, that the plan is actually closed that, you know, it's nice when you get one. And it's days that, you know, you literally can leave and nothing happens while you're gone, so you don't have to, like, clean up like when you do go on vacation. So, it's extra nice.
this year is August 2022nd. Scott, where do you live? Obviously, you live in the States if you're following the, the stuff here. That's happening. And I just don't care. I don't care for other games other than DBA because um, I don't want to spend in a four-hour game session an hour and a half somebody explaining these rules to me, which I may or may not like and people are not familiar with and it just causes after experiencing the how easy it is to play something like dva to con i'm like this is what i want to do i don't i don't want to suffer all the other stuff so knoxville okay yeah similar our local group is gaming as often as we want Cons need to provide something to draw groups that have been, that have a robust community. Seeing these posts, I need updated list of cons up here. Yeah. Or you just need to leave New York State. <laughs> no, we don't need any more New Yorkers in Florida. You might be a nice guy, but we don't need any more New Yorkers in Florida. I get really defensive when people say shit about Florida. I'm like, man, it always happens in the news. It's Florida, man. Yeah, well, Florida man came from out of state. You guys got kicked out of... Are, did you guys move down to fourth spot in population? Number one is California and will always be. Then Texas. You got New York moved to three or four. And we're three or four or something like that. I don't know. It's um, it's so freaking hot here. But I mean, I don't see right now. I don't care how hot it is because I'm I'm not hot. But at work, oh, you know, I work in and out outside, so I love it when it's thirty something, forty something degrees. Because in Florida, that's guaranteed clear skies. Beautiful blue clear skies, no no clouds, and moist, so you don't get um, you don't get killed by the by the dryness. Yeah, if you don't like Florida, don't come here. We don't need any more people here. We're good. Like we go to Historicon, the Pennsylvania's beautiful. Now the late the roads are laid out by a drunk on Sunday that was riding a goat. Ever go every which way, but the countryside's beautiful. I don't know how it is in the I don't know how it is in the winter time. I I don't dare go up there in the winter time. Although I did get to experience driving in in snowy weather a couple years ago in Colorado. That was interesting. Good thing I play lots of driving games. <laughs> I was fine. It was the other people, man. If you're driving down a road and you're fishtailing. You are driving incorrectly. Slow down. If you're drifting, you're doing it wrong. The white died again? Man. Am I native to Florida? I was born in 1971 in Tallahassee, lived here until 1976. My dad got a job in Huntsville, Alabama for three years. Three, four years, something like that. And then we came back to Gainesville, Florida, and I've been here since. So, yeah. 
yeah, I've been here 47 years, three years not here. And I'm born here. But no, I'm not native because those people are out on a reservation running casinos. Um, is anyone? Yeah. Well, I was born here, so. And as I like to say, uh, you know, my ancestors here came 600 years ago, didn't find any gold, and air conditioning wasn't invented, so we came back later. Uh, we lost population for a few years. We were losing 1,600 people a day. We lost at least one seat in Congress. Population used to be offset by people moving to the city, but now no one's going there either. I've never been to New York State. I've been to the city and I don't understand why anybody would live in that environment. I'm sure New York State's totally different. Just like where I live is not Miami, you know. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why somebody would live in in in, in something like New York City. Atlanta is probably the biggest I could handle because, yes, there's massive traffic problems, but people are at least nice to each other in Atlanta. Although they have, it's a place that has riots, too. So I don't want to live. I don't want to live in a place that has riots. Sorry. You know. Um, but Atlanta and Miami are equal distance, almost exactly equal distance from us. But the attitude between the two places is completely different. And I speak Spanish fluently. So that's not the problem. Um, it's just, you know, it's just too dog eat dog. I don't want to live in a place like that. Upstate's a million trees and cloud cover forever. Oh, so it's gray? Yeah. Never been up there. When I went to New York City, I thought it was cool. Went around Christmas, Christmas time. Walked everywhere. So much my shins were screaming at me just from pounding concrete. But the waters, this was a long time ago. The waters were like $5 of water. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not paying $5 for water. Water should be free. This is America, right? So we didn't drink, got dehydrated, felt horrible for, you know. That was the problem. It got dehydrated because it's not as humid as, as it is here. It was fine in the daytime. When the nighttime came out, the ghouls were out. No. I wanted to go. I, I felt like I needed to be escorted by SEAL Team 6 everywhere I went at night. I'm like, I, I don't like this. I, I don't like people coming. I'm from the south in a suburban town. You don't come up to somebody at night that you don't know. You're up to nefarious reasons. So, yeah. Fine in the daytime, holiday season, cool. Buildings, cool. Don't know why anybody would want to live there. Um, it's just not my kind of life, but... Um, no sun. Ooh. No sun is bad. Faith is Stephen the most... New York is New York City, nothing else. That's true. That's true. Well, what's the population of New York City compared to the rest of the state? At least, I'm, I'm, just, I'm totally shooting from the hip here. New York City, and I mean the greater New York City area, is at least a third of the population of all of New York. Gotta be, right? I mean, we have here like 20 million. So you guys are no more than 25 million. And New York City metropolitan area has got to be close to 9 million people. Um, so, yeah.
Yes, I know. Even worse, you have to explain place names to everyone. We kept many Indian names for locations, looked them. You know, I have a problem with that. I'm like, they should have just kept the Indians. I mean, if you're not going to keep the Indians, why keep the place names? They're the only ones that can... Pro we do that stuff here too, but there's they're, they're more secluded areas. I mean, it, we've got some... Yeah, you guys have some, some weird names up there that are, that are difficult to explain. But, yeah. You moved all the Indians out, but then you, you felt bad about it and, and gave them place names. Well, there's no one left that can pronounce them. <laughs> oh well <laughs> fun with words so the other thing is is now here's an idea right you say you're going to give places Indian place names, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. They didn't have the, they didn't use our alphabet, right? So you could write them in a way that's completely phonetic and there's no way you can say them other than the one way they're spelled. So like, don't try and spell them dementedly and then like not read any of the letters off don't you know like well this one's silent and that one's sometimes silent you can just spell the, the place name phonetically because it's not like it needs to match what the original language is in or maybe they already did that and it's still no good <laughs> but Painting question, how wet do you keep your wet palette? It's pretty wet. I keep it pretty darn wet because it lasts. Um, when I changed it, I made it a point to show it, but if you didn't catch that show, then it's, uh, it's pretty wet. You, could, you can squeeze and still get water out. All right, I'll tell you what. I will re-wet my wet palette just for you, and I'll show you how wet to keep it or how wet I keep it. You can do it however you want. I'm a, not a control freak. You know, if you want to paint your Romans pink, hey, it's your army. I am not interested in controlling people. I am of average height and above average shoe size, if you know what I'm saying. I, I don't care what you do with your life. You can choose to live your life however you want. <laughs> okay. See this? Let's see if we can get close here. It's pretty wet. It's pretty wet. Let's put this thing back. I do not like controlling people. And... I don't like people telling me what to do. I really don't like people telling me what to do. Especially people who have no moral authority or a bad moral authority. Uh, you could just go get lost. I'm serious. People could do whatever they want. You know? As long as you're not uh, encroaching on other people's freedoms. And that's it. It's pretty wet. This, this thing is great. This thing is really, really good. Uh, yeah. Gotta go. Maybe seeing some battlefields. Awesome. Cool. Will water pool when you press? Yes. How long will then keep? Well, it depends on if I keep it closed a month, probably. Um, if it's open like this, things dry out. 
you know, but it's mainly, it's mainly so that you've seen how I paint. So I make the custom mix for each color. I'm able to put it everywhere I want without it drying and having to remix it again. So it's not necessarily for avoiding waste of paint. It just, uh, for time, you know, um, it's just a time saver. So, because what I was using before this was just a piece of, um, uh, of plastic, just a piece of plastic that, um, I got to pay attention to what I'm doing here. I'm like, what am I doing with this? Uh, it's just a, uh, a piece of plastic, but you know, would dry out really fast, like a shim, um, so then I was having to remix stuff frequently, but most of my painting was done with a shim, not with a uh, wet palette. This, I hadn't started using this until the last three years or so. So, and then I did make one. I had a old sandwich container. I had like a Tupperware that was probably from the 1969. And uh, literally it's something that had been in my parents' household for a long time. And it was a, a little sandwich shaped thing in the shape of a sandwich. And I put a sponge in there and, and put the paper, but it didn't work as well as this. This works a lot better and it's a larger area, so. Uh, picked up a Masterson's. I don't, I don't, I'm sure it's just a brand. Uh, also, is that water in your contact case or retardant? It is neither. It is airbrush thinner. So uh, you can use like Flow Aid or something like that. This works even better because this like dilutes the paint and without thinning it. It's weird. It, it, no, it thins the paint without diluting it. There we go. But what I'm using it for is kind of like, imagine like re-wetting drops for your eyes. So what happens is because we're always painting with really small quantities, then I don't want the paint on here to dry before I use it. Um, because then it gum it gums up the bristles. It's almost like a lubricant for the for it. I just started doing it. Um, I had bought this airbrush thinner. I had no use for it because I had bought it to transfer colors from Games Workshop containers to little eyedroppers. I did one and then realized it's not worth my time because the whole point was to avoid a mess. Well, this makes a, a mess here in the top because you have to thin it so much that it comes out more than you want it to. So I'm like, well, I'm not gonna do that again. Well, I've got this airbrush thinner. I don't know what the hell to use. I just kind of invented doing this and it works for me, you know? So um, I've been really happy with the results of that. So, and it's really weird. You like dip this, like I had red in there and there's a little bit of red, but it, it like stays to itself. It doesn't like pool all over the place and change the color of the next, it, it's weird stuff. And it's very lubricant feeling. It, feel, it feels like uh, co like contact, con contact lens solution, you know? It smells like rubbing alcohol, a little bit, a little bit less pungent than rubbing alcohol, but like that, but it's, it's luby, you know? Um, Almost like um, if you have a water uh, softener, it feels like that. Um, or it feels a little slimy, but it works wonders. Uh, you know, I don't have an airbrush and, you know, I used thinner as well, but that was because I used a non-wet palette and found it in a dry time. Moving to a wet palette, I wasn't sure it would still be needed. I use it for the brush mainly. But this stuff's expensive. It's like $20 for one of those, but I don't think I'll be buying more than one every three years, if that much. And the contact lens case, somebody gave me an idea for it. And I don't know who it is. And they haven't spoken up yet. I've asked several times, who art, who art thou? It was a good idea. I was using a, uh, the top of a Games Workshop paint thing. The, the, actually, the bottle that I got this from, that I transferred over, I just ripped the thing off and it was just sitting there. So, I, I like this better. I have lots of them. You know, I just decided to grab one that didn't look like any of the other ones that I had. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. All right. 
lighten this up a little bit. Where's Mr. White? How long have we been on here? Almost three hours? We're still good. I want to get this guy done. We want to get this guy done. Sure, we'll use the same brown for all the spears. That works. <sighs> That's your brown, I believe. Dog walk time. How long are you streaming today? It's almost 10. Till I get burned out. Maybe another hour. Probably. If I stop, I got to pick up the house a little bit. Nah, I just got to put away, put away laundry and things like that. I haven't made a mess. I've stayed in here. You know? I've been using one plate, <laughs> just washing the one plate. Um, yeah, another hour probably. At least, at least till eleven, I would think. Probably eleven. I should probably call it. I may be on a little later after that, but and definitely tomorrow morning. I want to get these guys done, man. I want to get these guys done, not because I want to play this army. I want to work on a different army. I want to work on those book one clowns. So I say, when I get closer, I'll be like, yeah, let's just do Vlad the Impaler next. Okay. No, well, that could happen too. So the other thing I noticed, I paint one figure at a time, and one of the advantages that has, what I really dislike is putting this figure down and then grabbing another one, because you could fumble, you could fall on the floor, it's happened before. So I like just keeping the, the one figure here. And also, I want something to show for it when I'm done. And if I've got to wait until the figure's done, uh, it's, it's less likely that, that something will, you know, Which book one army are you planning to paint? I uh, did an unboxing on them. Curassier! Wee oui, wee. Oui. Uh, book 115, Amorites. Light Horse General. Five fast blades. Two fast auxilia or solid auxilia. A couple of Saloy or, or a couple of fast ox and then uh, or a solid horde or something like that. I think that's what it consists of. So I'm not building the bow general. Not with only one bow element. So yeah. I picked them up. They should be near here. Here they are. I did not buy it as a DB-8 army pack. I bought individual figures. Mainly because the vendor I wanted to get them from didn't have army packs. And I wanted to pick exactly who's in my army. And I didn't I didn't want the chariot guy that it came with. He he had like a he had a headband. The main guy had a headband like uh, you know, like lover boy. Well, my guy's not working for the weekend. He's out conquering places. Want him to have a bronze damn helmet. There's guys in his army that have bronze helmets, so why should the leader not have one as well? You know? 
Mycenaeans for DBMM. I'd love to play DBMM, but somebody's got to run the game because I just don't have it in me to learn another read through. It's not learn, it's read through another Barker game. Oh, look, I kept all the bags. Chariot. And yes, it will have rigging on it. I rig my chariots. Here is the Sickle Sword Bladesman. These guys are apparently nomads that uh, wanted to live in the city. This is actually the guys that sold it for me. And they, they come with separate shields so you can put them on there or not. But uh, my buddy Joe Coton got some of these figures and painted them and I love the way they look. They're really, really cool. So, um, yeah, sickle swords for the blades. Got some bows for the uh, skirmishers. Where's the main dude who's a bowman? The fast auxilia figures, they're all in the same pose, that's okay. Bare chested, just wearing uh, battle shorts. This is the charioteer, the guy that's holding the chariot reins. So what I do is I drill his hand and then I feed the reins through there. That sounds really anal retentive, but it works for me. I've done it successfully. Um, and I did it before I was painting without contacts. So I know I'll definitely be able to see it now. Where's the, where's the main dude that I wanted to get him specifically? Look for a guy with a bow with a helmet on. No, 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 no. Here he is. He's got a bodysuit on, too. Armored bodysuit. Oops. So, looking forward to doing these guys. And the reason I'm looking forward to doing them is they're kind of boring looking, the figures are. But since I've already done two armies that are technically boring looking, and um, and they're two of my favorite armies, how they look, I'm all for it. And that's my Irish and my Courage. Both of them are have a lot of commoner looking folks not with bright colors and I loved doing them so all right I'll be right back I need to grab a I need to grab a snack or something I am starving So my problem with Essex is a lot of their figures have the same face. So it's not really inspiring to paint another army after you've done a whole army of Essex guys. Not necessarily that I dislike their figures. I don't know if that makes any sense. But because honestly, their, their naked faces, meaning guys that don't have helmets on, are actually really pretty good. Um, yeah, they're a little short in the leg department. But their, their faces paint really well, you know.
They have nice definition to paint things. They don't have prominent cheekbones. I don't I really dislike painting figures with prominent cheekbones. You quite like Essex, yeah. Um, some of their poses are a bit odd. But if you mix them in with other stuff, see that's the problem with odd poses. It's okay to have one here or there. If you have a whole army of guys with odd poses. Let me pull some let me pull some guys out. This is why I'm not getting any paint done. Well, I don't mind because I'm having a good time. Because this is what keeps me on task and I don't want to do other things. Let me get some of these figures that we're eating. I've got some armies put together here. I'm going to give them away as prizes. This is the stuff that I got from Jim Cheney. And I know there's some knights in here that have this pose. And I put away, I put away many of these armies. And then when the end of the world happened, then I stopped because we weren't going to have any conventions, but, you know, he had a whole bunch of lead. So I love putting them together because like, these are all nights of late, most of these are like late 1100s type nights. They can go a little bit later than that, but let's see if we can find some guys. This guy, this is, now, you may like this pose. I'm just telling you it's a stupid pose. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay to have a figure or two like this, but with every knight has this pose, it's like uh, strange. Um, they have a lot of these where the guy is looking one way and the arm is outstretched in the opposite direction extremely not so much like this guy this guy's okay i'll point some of the guys out there to you um this guy's this guy's okay he's looking one way but i'm saying like way outstretched um i may not have some of those i've got some spanish figures of, of mine that i got in my feudal spanish army that i got a long time ago and they hold axes, and the axes, like, it's not even held out, it's held up against his arm, outstretched in the opposite direction that he's looking. And it's just really weird, it's like, nothing on the figure is, is bad, except the pose is just, like, odd. You know, if you think of the miniature that you catch, and uh, no, I, I thought, I thought this, I thought this stuff was going to be a little bit more strange than it was. I was thinking there was... You know, when everybody in your army looks the same way, it needs to be a pose that is more natural to be in. Not a pose that, you know, you can only hold for a limited amount of time because it's difficult to, to hold in that position. I don't know if that makes any sense. But, um, so I don't dislike their miniatures. Um, they just sometimes have weird posings. And I don't like the, I don't like the, the DBA army packs because I want to pick who's in my army. You know, I, I may want a variety of looks. Obviously, if I'm building like a Roman army or something like that, I'm fine with them being all in the same pose. The same figure in the same pose is fine. They're uniform and they're consistent. But if you're talking about somebody who's not that way, then what the hell is this guy doing here? This is an old glory slinger. Yeah, I was putting these guys together and the apocalypse happened. And I had to stop what I was doing. And they also have some horses. that are, I don't care for the horses, though. I want to be honest with you. They look, they look a little too fat. That doesn't mean I'm not going to use them. That just means they're a little too fat. And they also have this consistent pose. The horse held, with his he horse held down in shame. You know, like it's feeding. But, you know, if your whole army is like that, it just looks weird. So I do like, uh, I do like a variety there. Okay. Getting late here, so it's bedtime for me. All right. Thanks for coming by. What part of the world are you in? Bedtime, you must be out in Australia.
I'm going to guess Australia. That's what I'm going to go with. The Land of Oz. Or New Zealand, as opposed to Old Zealand. Australia. Awesome. Awesome. Maybe one day we'll get to go there. Who knows? Just so far away. Okay, let's go back to what we were doing. Yeah, I don't mind those little sidetracks. They're fun, you know? I got lots of stuff here to talk about, so it's all good. It's all good. All right. Back to a spear. So, yeah, I don't like uh, every figure, every manufacturer has figures that are that are are good. My least favorite manufacturer that everybody seems to love is Corvus Belly. I, I, and I don't dislike all their figures. It, it's mainly their cheekbones, and they have some guys that have weird poses. Um, but some of their medieval ones are just fine. Oh, they're knights. They're knights and stuff. They're all fine. It's just their foot troops that... They're not my cup of tea. That doesn't mean I won't paint them. I have a few that I've picked up from... I um, almost said garage sale. Flea market. But... People really love that company for whatever reason. And uh, they're very Essex-like, in my opinion. And, but so many of the guys that are unhelmeted have these big, massive cheekbones. Maybe if you're a person that has really big cheekbones, it looks normal to you, but it doesn't to me. So, um, Steven, thanks for that. Even though it had a shitty picture, I'm just giving up. I'm just giving up on taking pic. That doesn't mean I'm I'm giving up. I'm trying to make them better. I, I just, I can't do it. I don't have the tool set for it. <clears throat> or my phone's out to get me. Um, anyways, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, you know, other people have problems with their, their varnish being cloudy. I just did that video. There's literally, it just rained that same day. I have sprayed with a rainstorm outside and had no problems with the cloudiness. I don't know what the heck you folks are doing different. But watch that video. I've got some pointers on there maybe. Maybe there's something I'm doing on there that you guys aren't. And, or you're doing something that I'm not. Keep your spray cans at the temperature you're spraying in. So in other words, don't keep the spray can inside and then go out to a hot garage, and then it's spraying cold, but as soon as it hits the air temperature, it changes. So the air temperature of the paint doesn't change when I'm spraying it. This is just totally accidental. I made no effort to try to, to, to do this. I put no science behind it. I'm just trying to figure out why so many people are having so many frosting issues. Um, and I don't put too much on. Uh, nor do I stay over one. I just lightly go over it. I don't want it to be super thick. And I've never had an issue with it. And I, I don't wait a long time for it to dry. I may let it wait. I may 30 minutes, an hour. Never had an issue with it. Maybe it's using material that's been is old on the shelf. I know for the longest time I had problems with epoxy. But we're talking like late 80s. Like it would never cure. But you probably was just old product. You know, I've, I've never had a problem with epoxy. Now. Yeah, I know everybody's going to love the, the Pope guy when I do them. The Pope guy. Hey, who's that? He's the Pope guy. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's going to be last. We've got to work our way up to that. What I liked the most about the Knights is I used figures that nobody would give a second look to. Nobody would be like, oh, I, we got to have those figures. They're the best. No, they've been around for a while. Well, nobody gives them a second look. And, you know, most figures paint up well. It's really the exception. I've been, that I've been really, that, that I have been unhappy with a figure. Because of, you know, of the casting of it. Not usually a thing. But the girls will be back tonight, so... Independence Day and my independence is gone. And I'm kidding, of course, because uh, I can pretty much always do whatever the hell I want. You know, you have a hobby like this. I'm not out doing nefarious things anywhere. I'm, I can still be found in the same room all day long in a 10 by 10 area, you know. <laughs> but it'll be good to have it back. I, I, I feel like I was, I was a little on the board side yesterday. Even though I did a fair amount of painting, I, I tried doing the mid the mid painting in the middle of the day, and I was just falling asleep. I couldn't stay awake. Um, that kind of I did, never did take a nap. I just went and ended up doing video game, you know. So love doing that. A lot of raw figures look questionable, but they paint up good. A lot has to do with your painting skill. Well, it's not my photo taking skill. That's for sure. I think the photos I took with the older phone were better. It might just be the phone. And no, I've wiped the camera. It's not that. I don't know. Oh, well. I needed to switch phones because the other one was cracked and I uh, couldn't keep up with the demand on the uh, RAM and stuff for the, for, the, for the videos. So that was a foregone conclusion. I'm not going to fret about it too much. Um, you know... It's just mainly to, just to keep myself on track, taking pictures of them. Keep myself on task. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, I think we already did his shoes. Let's do his helmet. All right. Yeah, this thing this thing's about to go to to move to other duties. Let's see what we got here. What's this one look like? We'll use this one. They look good enough to give a viewer an idea of how they look. Yeah, I just don't understand why something that is in focus. I, I mean, it's literally six nights. And, like, the one in the middle is in focus. And the other one that is an inch over is out of focus completely. It's like, the hell's going on? You know? You know, it's not that far away. It's not that far away from each other. But these are knights, they're mercenary knights, so I can use, I can do a uh, uh, co communist Italian, as I like to call them, a communal Italian uh, morph as well. I'll be able to use the same knights and, um, and so forth. So, I had some black stuff on here. I don't really know what it is. It's almost like a, I was able to dust it off. I wonder what it is. This tiny little bit, little couple of specks. But yeah. I like
like how they turned out. Looking forward to doing the Middle Eastern Army and do a little bit different basing. Okay, you have a good fourth as well. I have no big plans today. Other than do this. Pick up the girls. I know they're going to be happy to be home. And we still have one more day off. We'll see if we get some dry weather. We'll mow the lawn again. I, last year I was only mowing like every other week. Now, now it's 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 growing better this year. So it's like a once a week thing. I don't mind doing it. Better than paying somebody to do it. Because I got paid five bucks when I did it as a kid. So I'm gonna pay somebody ten, or I'm doing it myself. I get into, or I would get into twice as much of what I'm doing, not this $50 to mow lawn. I mean, my lawn's not very big. I'm not getting $50 for that. It's like $20 an hour. Or more. Nope, I'll do it. I'll listen to some audiobooks. Have a beer. And be excruciatingly hot. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to get a chance to mow tomorrow. I think it's going to be wet for a week. black around the little like rivets it has on the edge. Okay. Nothing else with this color. starting to hurt a little bit. Oh. 
All right, let's paint. Um, let's paint the shield. Let's paint the shield. A lot of people on tonight. Uh, today. Thanks for coming by. And I need to pay attention because that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the white one first. <laughs> short leash. Short leash. Let me keep myself on a short leash. John Peter, or Peter, as you like to call you, but John Peter. We just had a massive downpour. Typical for Florida, but not for us. We specialize in drizzle. Yesterday was a drizzle all day day here. I don't think that it rained rained. And this morning we had two swaths of, of storm that came through. There was only one boom that was kind of close, but I still unplugged the television. No point in replacing that. I don't care if it's covered by insurance. That doesn't make it right. Mm, picked up some red there. Guess there was some red here in the top. Man, never, that never happens. Let's try this again. All right, let's get white. Get some from over there. There we go. Drizzle specialist. Yeah, the bad thing is when there's a heavy downpour and then the sun comes out and then it's a sauna from hell or a steam bath. Sauna's dry. People say that coffee makes them go to the bathroom. It does. It makes me pee. Which I need to go do again. It doesn't make me do the other thing. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't drink coffee.
Remember a good line from Johnny Carson. We only get dew in California. Last week it dewed so heavily Flipper was washed out the sea. <laughs> Only saw a little bit of him before he got off the air, but he had a way of doing comedy and not be nasty. Kind of nice. By the way, I don't know if you were here earlier, speaking of nasty, but I did catch that uh, Jimmy Carr, and I did, like, I did like his comedy routine. He's like uh, Daniel Tosh, but uh, more posh. Ha, 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 ha. Anyhow, so yeah, I, I enjoy that kind of stuff. I don't want my daughter listening to that, but uh, I enjoy that extremist kind of stuff. I like other kinds of comedy too, but I like that kind of stuff. All right, let's paint, uh, let's put the cross on there. Any German comics? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Just stick to beer. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. You well may be the funniest German person. Drop this thing right through the middle. All right, let's see if we point the, find the point where the cross went across there. All right, about right there, got it. back with white and clean it up. Uh-oh. Our comics are more like George Carlin and Louis Black. Less stand-up and more cabaret. Oh, well then give me some recommendations because I like both of those. I like both of them, actually. Ah, Carlin's better. I like Louis Black gets angry, though. I get it. Of course, it's got to be in English because, you know, can't follow with that other stuff.
I wonder if my daughter is old enough for Carlin. Could always try it. I know he cusses, but I don't think he got too nasty. That's where the problem becomes. I may not like how these shields turn out. I think that the definition between the white and the black of the red is too much. Um, it's looking kind of Scandinavian with that other color in there. I may not like that a, a lot. I, so I may have to come back and do the shields. Just do the whole thing white and then come in and do a red one and highlight the red and be done with it. So... should be part of her education. Well, she loved um, Don Rickles. So, yeah, Carlin, some of his stuff is just brilliant. Some of his stuff was just brilliant. There's a little tuft of this cheap ass Chinese brush. That is in the way. In the way. Carlin's cursing was elegant and impactful, not gratuitous. That's what I thought. Elegant and impactful. That sounds like me. Elegant and impactful. Well, I hope to get these four spearmen done by the end of this weekend. And by weekend, I mean adding tomorrow as well. I think if we can do that. See, this one looks better. Let's do the final contrast here. It's easy to fix a shield. And now 
little bit of highlighting. I don't want to bring any yellow. White will work just fine. This one's better. Let me get a little thing. That's the first one. This is the current one. This one has too, almost too much contrast. Oh, we'll leave it alone for now. We'll keep pushing forward. We'll keep pushing forward. What's, what is then next on the painting queue? I'm busy with Seven Years War Hungarians. They're mostly, uh, I'm sure they have blue in them, right? White and blue? Or is that Napoleonics? Blue pants, white tunic. What's next? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Amorites. Amorites have to be next. I, gotta need, I need them ready for the show. Amorites are next. So. Back from the dog walk. Arr! Best reason I can think of to have a dog. You gotta take him for a walk. You get out. But I never grew up with any, so I am not a pet person. That doesn't mean I don't like them. Um, that just means they're not for me. dagger, whatever the hell that is. All right, now we need a, a color for this leather stuff. I used the red leather type color on the, on the other one, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to try to use just chocolate brown here. It should be fine. So, seven years more, you've a bit more varied, and there's a wonderful resource page for them. Chronoscoff. Chronoscoff. Oh. Chronoscoff. Seven Years' War. Hungarians, that'd be in the Austrian army. This may take forever to do, but it's a lot more useful than watching television. And lots of people do that. So at least at the end of the day, I'll have something to show for it. Side of the shield.
Okay, let's brighten this shield up a little bit more with, with just some pure white on there. What am I missing here? Speaking of research page, is that still around for ancients? Which one? You talking about the DVA online page? Which is a little video game that was popular. It was losing popularity about the time that I just started doing Ancients Gaming. And I was trying to learn how to play DBA and it was... It's extremely confusing. I think that got better. And yes, I do want it to look a little rough on purpose. I think that got better. Do the same thing with this. And it's still too dark around the edges here on this one. But I'll, I'll be able to fix that later if I'm not happy with it. Okay. We're going to call this one done. Two down. Two to go. Fanaticus. Uh, there's a new one. Yes, it's still it's still up. You could buy the old one too. You just got to use Wayback Machine. And hopefully the page you're looking for was updated. On Wayback Machine. All right. What's we got the guys here? Two more. I'm actually going to go ahead and stop. I'm going to go ahead and stop for the moment being. And I may get a chance to get back on later, but I need to put laundry away and stuff like that. I got to do non-fun history-related things. So, But anyhow, um, I don't know why it shows an hour and 56 minutes. At some point it restarted. I've been on here a lot longer than that. So, um, anyhow... Thanks for stopping by, folks, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Happy painting, and um, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye.